What? Every once in a while, it makes sense to look back at the past and, you know, relive those moments for the good or, or the bad, for better or worse, so that you can move forward positively and learn from your mistakes, but also laugh at the things that have happened as well and have a good time, you know? Things have changed a lot in the 15 years that I've been a content creator. That's for darn sure. And it's good always to remember those times. And, Dude. Uh, you know, the other awesome thing about it is I documented all of it. 15 He's years fucking years around years. so much. And you guys have seen it all, and you can see it all on demand whenever you want, right? He really is a professional Jasper talker. Really Hello, Jasper. He's looking at it. He's looking at his reflection in it. He's rubbing his face on it. I'm serious. He's rubbing his face Oh, he trolling. For some reason, I didn't like, notice. This is a I'm big troll about, in the you know, beginning. My joystick for my PlayStation 5 to play Street Fighter. No, oh. not that part. Not the sexual innuendo with his actual cat. The part that's actually trolling is how he didn't spend money on getting blood work done for the cat and complained about it and said he was getting scammed and all of that. Okay, right after this, you buy an arcade stick, an actually $300 arcade stick. And then you got the nerve to say, oh look, Jasper likes the arcade stick. He likes it! Oh. How dare like you father, like son. Disgusting thoughts in your head. Stop that right now. Yeah, I didn't think that My new convo nothing. My two joystick is on the floor next to me. So stop that right now. Okay. Great joke, DSP. Anyway. And then later we get an R. Kelly joke. All right. Is involving his cat again we got two sexual innuendo jokes with his fucking cat dsp is changing overnight special events and all kinds of fun things going on you're going to be saying meow again effort by those on the internet who benefit from my misery to try to create more drama and misery all right he is the guy behind him thank you to all of you this week because this week you did not buy into the bullshit and that's a great thing that people now have seen through all of this nonsense all right, just to give you some perspective, in the last week, the nonsense that has happened, okay? So first of all, the nonsense tonight, I mean, we're going crazy here. Uh, Jasper, all, I get donated a mini PC. I never asked for it. We had talked about a Steam Deck over the last year or so, but never once did I say, hey, man, I want to uh, uh, you know, donate it immediately. Send it to me. This part's you know, rough. Someone out of the kindness of their heart contacted me and said, you know, with the things that it sounds like you can do with a, a PC like that, I <laughs> The kindness of their heart. They did. And that's amazing. Wow, so thank you. What, what a positive to interaction. A negative for Contribution. Oh, first of all, big beneficial it's moment. Trap. It's a troll thing where someone put in like key loggers and stuff. Then, oh, you see, Phil doesn't I want to know what's the key logger in DSP's mind. Because he never told me what the N word was. But it's another thing, and we're gonna try to bait and trap him. We actually had people. So, so what's WW Network? But because uh, I don't excuse talk me about publicly, okay. <clears throat> and the throw clear. There's a good 15 or 20 people that are constantly on my streams. Hey, I don't talk about this thing publicly that I've talked about before. That I am telling you, I won't talk about as I talk about it. The sneak dissers, basically. Who are sock accounts? From previous accounts being the sneak dissers and they are a group that sit in a discord and they chat with each other i like that it's specifically day, discord me crapping on me trying to make fun of me trying to find ways to derail my streams and or create drama around me look like how that's fucking that's stupid this is because of the cat wiggling around and shit no it's very true no. it's very true I, you know everyone knows it i don't know if i make it more or less cringe and uh, I can't take it serious. They're obsessed. He's calling people He's crazy and shit. Plotting and we got a cat bumping into the mic. In a lot of cases, used to be detractors, but they would be in the chat and pretend to be fans. Only over the years, then they would reveal themselves every once in a while when they just couldn't resist a, a big insult or derailing the stream or insulting another one of my viewers. For various reasons, they all have been banned. So they come back over and over with soccer accounts. Well, they got to do it eventually, dude. And the thing is, they don't think I know it. Is the sole intention to exist forever in his chat? They all have the same mannerisms, the same sayings. They reference the same memes. What they say, big ups? The same kind of type that they type the same way. You could tell. Oh, he tripping now. It's not a big difference to figure this out, especially if it's a regular who's in the chat all the time, always on a sock account. That's number one. Number two. Wait. Same way. You could tell if it's the same. First of all, typing hands. A lot of them have the same kind of type that they type the same way you can tell if it's the same person easily it's not a big difference to figure this out especially if it's a regular who's in the chat all the time always on a sock account that's a regular who's in the chat all the time always on a sock account these things kind of clash i didn't know regulars could also be sock accounts i thought they would goddamn so they could be a regular they they 
can pretend to be a fan. They can also be a sneak disser. They have uh, fluid definitions. Number two, what they don't realize, which I, I've talked about before, is that they don't even like them each other. There's people who sit in their Discord channels and actually tell me about what they're talking about. Like, if they're planning to do something, I know about it ahead of time. Because people tell me. I don't ask about it. I literally... I said this already, but obviously I have to say it on record. People telling him that people are gonna fuck with him is genuinely another way to fuck with him. Even if it's true, it's still another way to fuck with him. Like, it just is. I don't really want to explain it more than that. But if you tell this dude that somebody's gonna troll him, that's trolling within itself. And then, what if nobody ever show up to troll? Guess what? He's gonna be thinking about it forever. Hey, Phil, this one guy in his Discord that I'm in, man, he's really out to get you. He actually hates you, Phil, and he wants to shut your whole business down and fuck your wife. But what if that dude never fuck his wife? Rafters or whatever guy. Um, no, do you think everyone on planet Earth types uniquely to themselves? You remember when DSP typed the same as down from the Raptors? And he called people crazy for saying he was the same guy. I really don't even know who these people are, but I'll get emails and messages uh, saying, hey, Phil, just so you know. Leave him alone. Just, just so you know, Phil. Face. And just to, you know, prepare yourself you know. because they might try to derail your stream or there might be something going on, you know. Again, that within itself is trolling. Oh, okay. well, and it's going to increase the paranoia. I don't, you know, I don't follow it. It's good to have the heads up. So what they I don't care, but it's good to have the heads up. These things kind of... Uh, go against each other I'm just saying this dude spent the last like five six years telling us that he don't care about what the trolls doing what the trolls might do what the trolls talk about who the trolls like don't tell me about trolls it used to be an actual written rule when he was on twitch to not bring up trolls and or troll activities I think that's the direct like fucking quote too and again, telling him that he's going to get trolled is going to make him fucking paranoid and it's going to make him weird. And that within itself is trolling. He don't realize it, but I'm sorry. It is. It just is. And then it's DSP. So it's even worse. They don't even know is that I know. Who like, look at what we're watching right now. This dude's losing his fucking mind. <laughs> he's rubbing his cat. He's rubbing his cat on stream and he still can't feel better. Think about this. DSP's rubbing his cat on stream and he don't feel better. They all are. All right. Life sucks, man. And they could see and get banned and come back and get banned and come back for various different reasons. Like I said, sometimes they would try these drama efforts and things. And then and he really don't know what anybody want when they're trolling him. He's saying that people are getting banned as if they don't want to get banned. They know they're going to get banned when they get banned. Like, that's a part of the game. If you troll him, somehow troll him and never get banned... Are you even trolling? That's the question. Are you even trolling if you never get banned? If you never get banned, are you even a troll? Maybe, but not, not really. I don't know. You got to ask DSP. This is the same dude that said teabagging isn't teabagging. Unless the person that you're fighting is dead and you walk up and do it over their face. Like you actually have to put your balls in their face. You have to genuinely sexually harass them to teabag. So this week, but he said that after he got tea back. Idiot, one of them. This is someone who had an idiot. previous accounts at least. It might have actually at been least further than that. But this person had purposefully tried to do a like a, a, a situation where it's a gotcha moment. Gotcha. A gotcha moment on Phil's streams where I can make him look bad, right? So I'm talking about this new mini PC that showed up, and I don't really know anything about. Oh mini man, PC. I, you know. I'm talking about things that people are telling me. I'm getting emails every night. Hey, here's what I think about your PC. I did some research. Here's what I learned. So I'm just talking about that on my pre-streams. Why? My pre-streams are not meant to be like an end-all be-all. He's basically telling us that he gave us bad information and he talked about shit he was misinformed about. But he don't want to word it in that way because it make him look completely ridiculous. But his excuse for being misinformed and being loud about it too, like actually being wrong and loud, is that... Other people were wrong. Other people gave him this information. That's fucking garbage, dude. That's actually garbage. Like, what the fuck? If anybody, actually anybody, but let's just say Mr. Beast, because DSP don't like anybody that's really, really popular and make a lot of money. So let's say Mr. Beast upload a video, right? And he's talking about how AMD don't have cooling gel or some weird shit. And he just say something that's like completely wrong. Okay, something DSP can relate to. Uh, fucking Justin Wong upload a video and he says that 
Street Fighter 2 Super Turbos PS1 edition is trash. Of course, DSP would disagree with that. And he would say, oh my god, you guys. This guy with a huge platform, he is a very popular content creator. He came on his stream and said very misinformed things. And I can't believe that he would do that. We would get some corny fucking cringe ass speech with him over fucking analyzing it. Just like I'm doing right now. <laughs> and he would be like, wow, I can't believe that guy was so wrong on his fucking on his fucking platform. He should think about what he says because what you say actually like means something like we've gotten so much speeches from the guy so many speeches about him talking about how he used to just say shit okay for instance the minecraft stuff how he would just say shit he would just shit on minecraft or shit on this or shit on that and he didn't really pay any mind or pay any attention because according to him he didn't think what he said meant anything basically he thought he could just say whatever and nobody would give a fuck, pay attention or care. So with the like, he think the opposite of that now. <laughs> That's the point I'm trying to make. He thinks the opposite of that now. He's Mr. Meaningful. So why the fuck is he on his stream telling us actual bad information? And his excuse is that he got it from other people. That's not a good excuse. I'm sorry, man. He could just talk about Street Fighter or something that he know about. Authority. Right? Formative. I'm not an authority. I did some research. I'm just a fucking idiot. People are telling me I'm getting emails every night. Hey, here's what I think about your PC. <laughs> I did some research. Here's what I learned. So, I'm so, and on top of that, he's got the time to read emails about people talking about his shit, and he can't even fucking follow up on it. If somebody tell him that his computer is an i15 CPI processor, is he gonna not Google that to see if it's real? Or is he going to come on his stream and say, guys, I have an i15 ICPZ processor or whatever the fuck bullshit I made up. Like, how deep does it go? How stupid is he willing to be? How stupid is DSP willing to be on purpose? And this is all because he got a mini PC with a fan in it, but he said it didn't have a fan. And he said AMD is made to heat up something like that. You wish I had the clips. I don't have the clips. Leave me alone. But he said some wild shit. He was going fucking Rambo. And then his excuse is that, well, other people told me this. Bruh. I'm just talking about that. Isn't he 41 years old? He's 41 years old. Your excuse cannot be that other people told you this stuff. You're 41 years old and your entire job is on the internet. You couldn't copy paste what somebody fucking sent you and type it into Google. You couldn't go on Google and type in the name of the thing that you have. Think about it. He starts his stupid fucking stream and he has the nerve to hold the thing up to the camera and tell us the name of it and say, I'm sure you guys will do research on it and let me know about it. Why can't you copy paste type into Google? And it's obviously backfired in his fucking excuse for but it's happening is that it's other people's fault. I listened to stupid again, people, so I became stupid. To be like an end -all -all authority I'm not an authority figure. Discussion about any equipment I'm using <laughs> or anything like that. This is not Linus Tech Tips, right? This is the deflect digital foundry doing Who? great testing. What? Just me talking Shout outs. You, you love those guys. All right. But any time that these idiots can try to get someone in a gotcha moment, they'll do it. So, oh, I gotcha. See, you misspoke about this about the PC. And what make this even more weird is something that DSP has and probably actually 0% of the people in his chat have it. It's a very specific product. Sure, it's a mini PC, but it's this specific configuration from this specific company. Man, genuinely, probably, actually, no one that know who DSP is on this product. How everybody else did more research than you? How everybody else more informed about a fucking product that you got gifted to you than you are yourself? That's actually Rotunto. The person that gave it to him, did they look up information about it? And it's like... They sent it to him. Did he not know what he was getting? Hey, Phil, I want to send you a mini PC based on the fact that you, like, fucking subtly beg for shit all the time. Okay, sir, thank you. I will really appreciate it. And then you just fucking send one. Did DSP not say, yo, could you give me some info on that shit, bro? 
because I could send him a mini PC and it's going to have Windows 98 on it. I genuinely have a mini PC with Windows 98 on it. I don't think he could do anything with that. See, you missed the part about the PC. <laughs> and then because I don't outright address it, uh, now I'm somehow in the wrong, right? Or someone shows up late to my stream and is demanding that I derail the entire stream to go back and talk about a topic about that mini PC that was at the beginning of the stream. He didn't want to talk about it because he knew he knew what the deal was. Everyone laughs. Oh my God, did you see the joke that Phil... Wait, what? Hmm. Do I want to go back and look this up? <sighs> we'll go back and look it up. Thankfully, we can do things like this due to raw feel on YouTube. Uh, I don't even want to talk about the name. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can find it. So this is the one I'm watching now. Street Fighter 6 fucking Blanca Balls. I'm pretty sure it's this one. Briefly, but like I said, I do want to take a few minutes break to use the bathroom before we begin, everybody. I think. Okay, maybe not. Tomorrow, but then that means that, you know, oh my God. It'll be easy to find, kinda. I just need to look for the white flash of light. And I'm assuming it was this one. It might have been the one before this. That's where we take the L. Like, was it actually the day before that? Look at this dude. Look at this dude. He couldn't make a decision on what game to play. So he did a fucking A-ball. He actually threw around an A-ball and let the A-ball choose. And then on a night stream, he acted like he didn't even do that. I don't know why DSP so uniquely dishonest about everything on his fucking stream. It's so dumb. It's so dumb. I swear it can't be August 8th. Cause I and I'm I'm watching August 8th. It's another one. It's not August 8th. He do it on August 8th, but he do it on another day. I don't know. We lost. I'm spending too much time looking for it now. Let's get set up briefly, but like I said, I do This supposed to be a professional video. I am disappointed about that maintenance tonight. That really throws a monkey wrench into my plans. It sucks, but that's life, I guess. You gotta roll, like I said, you gotta roll with the punches, right? I'm upset, but I'm not gonna let it deter me from- I'm giving myself 50 more seconds to find this. Regardless of the fact that I- Cause the person complained about it happening on August 8th. And no way it was this day. This is a late stream and everything. Hey, remember Final Fantasy? I think it was August 5th. Um, and then we talked about all, all other things like webcam. Don't need that anymore. I have yeah, it was August 5th. Trolls are loose. Ask the same question. In fact, you know what? Here we go. Just for this person who showed up. Oh, wait. <laughs> this is not the same as the DSP thing, but it we can pretend it is. Who's supposed to apologize? Me or you? You're wrong. You told me August 8th and it was August 5th. I got you in a gotcha moment. Moment on my podcast, all right? So here we go. We'll just start over completely. In fact, you know what? Here we I go. I get it. Just for this person. I thought it was August 7th, maybe. I thought this shit was the day before. This is the fucking 5th? What happened? There's like so many days in between. Oh, well. Okay, let's go back. I need like a little more context. Than the graphics in that mini PC. Big ups the graphics. It doesn't have a dedicated graphics card. It's the onboard graphics. How would I play Elden Ring on it? <laughs> because yeah, you. Yeah, ultra low settings, 10 frames per second, maybe. Yeah, that's how you would play it. Overheats within an hour, maybe. Okay. Where are people getting these weird notions from? Very Yo, odd. very odd. Nose rub, wipe it on my pants. And the throw clear. It's not tournament legal at Evo. There's only one converter allowed at Evo, and even that adds significant input lag. But people are doing it if they can't afford another joystick. Would you like me? Who's at Evo that can't afford a fucking joystick, BTW? I have to seriously ask. Some dudes going to fucking Evo and can't afford a stick? Are they? You know what? Nothing. I'm gonna derail the conversation. <laughs> and even that adds significant input lag. But people are doing it if they can't afford another. Listen to this. Would you like me to reiterate everything I said on the podcast specifically for you? She takes them both out, boom. This is obviously a person that he knows is one of those people, but he don't want to ban him. 
he want to wait until they make him mad at least and then he could be a victim i'll be back how much i fucked this up too so i gotta go back he's looking i don't know how that happened on my streams who are sock accounts from previous accounts being we'll go back to this again and they are a group that sit in a the group and they chat with each other all day every day talking about me crapping on me, trying to make fun of me, trying to find ways to derail my streams and or create drama around me. I know that sounds weird to be like, no, that's that's got to be an exaggeration. That sounds so weird. weird. It's very true. I, you know, everyone knows it. We all seen evidence of it. Uh, it's not if everyone know it, why he are, telling us now like it's the first time? They sit around literally plotting stuff. These are people who everyone? in a lot of cases used to be detractors, but they would be in the chat and pretend to be fans. Only over the years, then they would reveal themselves every once in a while when they just couldn't resist a, a big insult or derailing the stream or insulting another one of my viewers for various reasons they all have been banned. So they come back over and over with sock accounts, <clears throat> okay? And the thing is, they don't think I know it. But the thing is, there's a couple things that you can always tell. Number one, they all talk the same. They all have the same mannerisms, the same sayings. They reference the same memes. A lot of them have the same kind of type that they type the same way. You can tell if it's the same person easily. Bro, DSP fans do that too, though. Regular who's in the chat all the time, always on a sock account. That's this is not a rant that he should have had on stream. This is very specific. He needs to talk to himself more or something. I don't know. In their Discord channels and actually tell me about what they're talking about. And again, this is trolling it, like within itself. Because people tell me. I don't ask. Even if the people genuinely don't like each other and tell DSP about it to ruin the other person's trolling that's still them trolling it's like a combination it's like fucking drive impact combo with trolling i don't care about it i don't you know i don't follow it it's good to have the heads up like goddamn he gonna get trolled from the person that's actually trolling the person that tell him about the trolling is basically trolling because they're making him paranoid it's all kinds of levels to fucking trolling dude it's too many i know who they all are all right all right i know who they are by the way she takes them both out boom i wonder who that could be that might be me it might be meerkat it might be fucking fred someone who had already had three previous accounts at least they might have actually gone back further than that what are the other two had purposefully this person was around at least three months by the way they had the three months stupid crown in his chat so they've been interacting and chilling and the guy every time he leaned over and saw him in the chat he allegedly knew they were a troll and he knew they were a bad person basically and there's so many questions you could ask about this first of all don't this dude allegedly care about his community now i'm sorry but a streamer that cares about their community wouldn't purposely let people sit around in it that's trolling and that he know may pretend to like people to get closer to them and then troll what if this person doxed his viewers what if they pretended to be friends with half of his viewers to get their fucking address or some shit? I thought this dude cared about the safety of his fucking community. Huh? I think that's a pretty valid question. I think it's a valid question. Try to do a, like a, a situation where it's a gotcha moment. I got gotcha. a gotcha moment on Phil's streams where I can make him look bad, right? So I'm talking about this new mini PC that showed up, and I don't really know anything about mini PCs. I, you know, I'm talking about things that people are telling me. I'm getting emails every night. Hey, here's what I think about your PC. I did some research. Here's what I learned. I wonder if he's making any of his viewers paranoid too. streams are not meant to be by just saying like, oh yes, yeah, people that come around and they're actually not who they say they are, and they're on a third account, fourth account. They've been banned before. I know who they are, but I'm not gonna ban them. It's like damn every person i talk to in your chat might genuinely be a bad person <laughs> or they could just be a nice guy who knows but you know but you don't want to tell us and you don't want to ban them until they do something wrong but they already did something wrong they basically they did the internet equivalent of breaking out of jail and you don't want to lock them up again you want to wait until they commit another crime but people uh I don't think you care about people that much if you want that, and, and but it's okay. Authority, informative discussion about any equipment I'm using. It's a little sus. Don't testing. think about it too much, though. This He's gonna call you crazy. Foundry doing frame rate testing. This is just me talking on a podcast to you guys casually. Right? <laughs> but I know, know you. Who you? In a gotcha Who you, Oos? So, oh, I gotcha. See, you misspoke about gotcha. The PC. You misspoke about that about the PC, and then because I don't outright address it, right? Now I'm somehow in the wrong, right? Or someone shows up late to my stream. And his demand why wouldn't he address that he was wrong on how his own equipment worked come on man come on is he really that like fucking weird is he that over proud is he that egotistical 
that he can't even point out how he's incorrect about something he got gifted to him that's so fucking specific to go back and talk about a topic about that holy cow right so i make light of it this made me think about how i was complaining about the mix it up app and then the next day i look at the app and notice that it can do the thing i was complaining about and i haven't same fucking troll who's been in this chat a million times always good trying for the i fucking brought it up I, I, from the moment that that digital or excuse me the moment that the mini pc arrived correct what is correct. the first thing i say i'm gonna hook it up on sunday night and test it for myself and once i test it we'll have the end all be all. Am I even at the part I wanted to be at? I rewind it too much. Until I hook it up. We can all sit here and speculate and we can read stats online, but until I actually hook it up and test it and benchmark it myself, we won't know anything. That's the first Snowflake. thing I said. So then why are there people coming to stream arguing with me about the power of the PC? Snowflake moment. It has a fan in it. Who cares? We'll find out when I test it on Sunday. Bruh, people were telling him this shit because he was telling them the opposite of it. If you tell people it's cold outside where they live, and they think it's not cold, they're going to say it's not cold. That's just the fucking way it works. They're trolls, never mind. They want a gotcha moment. I like that we don't trust actual professional benchmarkers. We don't trust hundreds of people in reviews and shit. Nah, I got to do it myself. Actually, the dumb guy got to do it himself. Just ban. Just ban. Right? But instead, I entertain, I read the comments nicely, I treat them like normal st stream members because I'm trying to be nice and open and maintain a positive atmosphere on my streams. You know, this would be a good spot to pause this. To pause this. Listen to this shit. I take their bullshit and say, alright, you know what? Just ban. I don't want to deal with you anymore. Just ban your ass. This is one of my favorite parts right? to talk about with this. But instead, I entertain, I read the comments nicely, I treat them like normal st stream members because I'm trying... He reads the comments nicely, treat them like normal stream members. And I'm like, no, you just actually didn't. You know how many times motherfucking Slayer, and he's the one I name drop for this every time. How many motherfucking times Slayer show up to a night stream asking about the day stream. Slayer show up to Tuesday stream asking about the Sunday stream. He show up to the Wednesday stream asking about the Saturday stream. And DSP always responds so nicely. He never get a fucking weird attitude, except the time he might. But this shit that we about to watch he ain't he ain't doing this to slayer he's not doing this when derek show up and ask about what happened two days before he's not doing this to jade when they show up four hours late to a stream that's always happening at the same time it's always the same time dsp's had the same schedule basically for like at least the last seven years so how the fuck like i get it if you show up late you show up late but you can't show up late and act like you didn't know what was happening why the fuck he don't yell at everybody the same way he yell at this person? Well, I'm not ye yelling. I'm calling it yelling. But look at this shit. Would you like me to reiterate everything I said on the podcast specifically for you? She takes them both out, boom, because you showed up late. This is him treating them like a normal viewer? Being nice? This is him being nice. But instead, I entertain it. I read the comments nicely. I treat them like normal st stream members because I'm trying to be nice and open and no. Now you want to ask the same questions. <laughs> Wrong. He answered sufficiently early. Look how nice he's been. He's treating, she takes them both out boom like a normal viewer. Whatever that means. Who wants to second guess and, and ask me questions I already. Look how nice he's been. Try to make me like a gotcha moment on my podcast. Look how nice he's been. So there we go. Sufficiently earlier in the show. In fact, how about this? We'll have a special show just for you. It's the level one podcast just for the latecomer who wants to second guess and, and ask me questions I already answered earlier to try to make me like a gotcha moment on my podcast. All right. So there we go. We'll just start over completely. In fact, you know what? Here we go. Just for this person who showed up late and wants to ask the same questions I've already answered, we'll do this. You ready? Here we go. All right, we're not doing that. <laughs> Let's continue. Yes. Oh, sorry for the paper sounds. I was messing with worms. What else do you guys want to talk about today? Hopefully not joysticks. No, I've not ridden in a jet. Almost no one has. Lavinia. Oh my God, Lavinia. <sighs> You're doing it too. <laughs> I was going to have actually a hundred worms on the floor. Did I not? Which would be kind of funny, but not that fun. Explaining. 
That mini PC has no ventilation whatsoever. There's no fan or cooling. Oof. Oof. Okay. It's gonna take a little while. He said the thing. We're gonna need help for this one. We gotta go to Meerkat Mob channel and see if I can find it within that video because it'll be easier for me. I hope. First day, follow up. Yeah, it's a part of the follow up, 100%. But where does he show the fan? I need to see the fan. Show me the fan, old man. Crazy with it if you, you know, but, you know, like Spider 12 literally just do that. Point. It's almost on par with Steam Deck from what people are telling me. What the fuck you holding a box up? Hold the thing up, dude. So here we go. I hate it. You play them around. I don't think I'm gonna find it. Wait a minute. Was it really the first day? Because it wasn't in the first day. So yeah, this is AMD Radian graphics. Yeah, I need the assist. I don't know what the graphics are. It doesn't, you know. I won't know till I boot it up. We'll find out tomorrow. It's such a nothing segment, sadly. But it's important in my opinion. He legit look at the thing, he kind of hold it up, and he basically acknowledged that it got a fan. Something he said it didn't have. And people told him it had a fan. And he got really mad and like restarted his stream and called them out in a specific way. But he was literally wrong about the thing having the fan. So even though it might play a 3D <laughs> game, it's not meant to do that because it will overheat. Uh, AMD processors are meant to overheat. They're they're not good. They're not like Intel processors with a cooling solution. This thing is going to overheat. Yeah, he made some interesting statements. Okay. I got the double assist. 9 minutes and 18 seconds. So we go back a little bit more. Box or something, right? Big ups to the boombox. Oh, that's what that is. The Trinky S5 mini PC. That's what it's called. See, and I said it looks like a speaker, but you know what that is? That's got to be the cooling. That's got to be how it actually cools itself just by having openings on the sides like that. See? Look at his face. So there's no, there's no fan in there. There's it no do have a fan, fan though. In this thing. But we didn't know yet. Maybe there is. You think there's a fan in there? Did we know yet? I feel like first day he say it's not a fan, and then the second day he's like, "Oh, it is a fan," and then he shrugs. It does have a fan? Oh wait, it was first it day. It does have an internal fan. Holy shit! Fucking head shake, negative really? style head shake. It does have a fan? It does have an internal fan. One more time. So I made do this year. Oh great! No. So now everything's improved this year, right? No. So I received a $2 tip. <laughs> My tip. That CPU is what is considered a low-powered chip. It does not create as much heat as a normal CPU. They can Ladies and gentlemen, this is low the heat, but I don't know the kind of pass power it uses, so take this with a grain of chip. salt. Yeah, I don't know. You saw how small that thing is. It's really small. And I thought, I remember I said it looked like it had speakers on the side. <laughs> and then I realized those aren't speakers. This is like the, the ventilation. It's not it's not anything to point out, but I'm gonna point it out anyway. It can be passively cooled. It shouldn't overheat, but I don't know the kind of passive cooling it uses. So take this person gives some genuine, actual, factual information, right? Right. And at the end of it, they say that take it with a grain of salt shit just so DSP don't get mad at them. I refuse to believe they say that for any other reason. Why the fuck would you tell a tell a dude something like this and then say take it with a grain of salt? Why you told me then? Hello, sir. Many PCs can cool themselves without a fan in some cases, but take this with a grain of salt. Where did you get the fucking salt from? Take this with a grain of salt. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. So now we don't know. Really small. And I thought, <laughs> I remember I said it looked like it had speakers on the side. Whatever. I those aren't speakers. That's just the, the ventilation. Is just Everybody handle them with baby now gloves. It looks like what you would normally have on a speaker on a, on a you know, on a, on a, freaking boombox or something right you know i was like oh that's what that is the tricky s5 mini pc that's what it's called see and i said it looks like a speaker but you know what that is that's got to be the cooling that's got to be how it actually cools itself just by having openings on the sides like that see 
So there's no there's no fan in there. There's nah, no pim pam. It actually is a real thing as a CPU not having a fan. They could just have a heat sink on it and the heat sink Dude, dissipates really dissipates the heat. Back in the day, like in the long, long time ago, most computers okay i shouldn't say that because i'm gonna be wrong but back in the day more cpus and processor situations didn't have fans that spin they just had heat sinks i noticed because i watched a lot of videos about old computers and i have like five of them myself amd radian graphics but i don't know what like i don't know what the graphics are it doesn't you know i won't know till i boot it up we'll find out tomorrow i won't know i have a fan inside until i boot it up he just didn't want to believe people, even if they're right, because it will make him wrong on him being actually wrong. I don't know, dude. You sh shouldn't you want to know what your shit got? You got something gifted to you. You don't want to be correct about how good it is. Let's do it again. Here we go. This he don't want to be correct about how good a thing is that he got gifted to him because him being correct about how good it is will be that he was wrong in his assumptions. <laughs> it's just him not wanting to be wrong. Poor DSP. Just keep playing Street Fighter, man. You do that right, this one is right? Lavinia. Ready? Here we go, everyone. Here we go, everyone. Again, normal viewer. He treats normal viewers this way. That's why it's so out of the blue. All right. Are we good now? According to him, the chat liked this. Are we good now? They did. Can I'm reading the chat right now. To the things I already explained earlier. <clears throat> He's very, very happy for the gift he got. Super grateful, man. No idea, because I don't know anything about Chrono Cross. People have said that it's like the, it is a sequel to Chrono Trigger, but I never played it. I See if we derailed. Expand dong. You input lag. He added Again, I gotta point out that I think it's weird. I'm sorry, it's weird. How is Chrono Trigger like one of his favorite games of all time? But he knows nothing about Chrono Cross. Not even any information. It's a PS1 game. You've had. 20 fucking years to google something about it it makes no sense to me it's like do you like games that you pretend to like do you pretend to like games dsp are you uh like an e-girl he's worse than the e-girls because they don't beg he beg and pretend to like games hey phil you know about this sequel to a fucking game that you love from your fucking childhood and fucking fucking and he's like i don't know i never heard of it solutions that's correct it might not be a direct sequel i don't know okay but Come on. The game should be important if you like Chrono Trigger. You should at least figure out if you like it. Again? Before I fucking derail myself more. Let's play this part again. I don't want to deal with you anymore. Just ban your ass. I'm not gonna Holy shit. You think that I'm hostile, nice and open. And okay. Read the comments nice. Normal view of part. I'm not going to pay attention to you, right? But right. instead, I entertain it. I read the comments nicely. I treat them like normal st stream members because I'm trying to be nice and open and maintain a positive atmosphere on my streams. I don't want people to think that I'm hostile to people for no good reason. When I That processors and PCs usually have cooling solutions on them to start, correct? This isn't being hostile, by the way. Trust me, it's not. Snort. We can all say that's a yes, right? I'm waiting for her to say... He forced this person to say yeah. I want to be sure... That's so that's fucking that's lame. Correct. Processors have cooling solutions. That's correct. Right? A cooling solution could be a fucking red inside of the yeah. case blowing on it, dude. A cooling solution could be waving your hand in front of it really fast. Do processors have cooling solutions like nice heat sinks and cooling gel? And that? <laughs> cooling gel. Nice heat sinks. A nice heat sink. Guess what? A nice heat sink can perform without a fan, depending on the power and the wattage of the CPU. If you want to spend like a thousand dollars, you could probably buy a heat sink made out of fucking titanium or some shit without a fan on it. As a matter of fact, is this one thing, I'm not gonna look it up. So I'm just gonna explain it very poorly. It's a music, we're gonna call it a music player. I saw it in uh, a Tecmon video, big ass box, like actually a big ass box. And this thing got a big ass heat sink in it. No fans. I almost want to look it up. I refuse to. But it's yes no kind of cool and extremely expensive. <laughs> All right. Well, she's not answering. The answer is yes. Okay. Now, do modern PCs cooling have solution a series of fans inside of them to also cool off? Because when you run that PC at high end, 
like a game, it gets hot. But the thing I'm talking about got a fucking processor in it. Right? The answer is right? yes. All modern PCs that you're going to run any kind of a game on have these things because things get hot when you when you do things with them. Okay? It's that simple. Everything? That PC over there is not meant to be a high-end gaming PC. It's not designed <laughs> that way. If it were, it wouldn't be tiny. They wouldn't have made it small. Uh, not a very good point. If you want a gaming PC, you don't get a mini. You make it big. That's the whole point. If it was a gaming PC, it would be big, <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Fucking idiot. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's why he liked the PS5, because it's so big. And the Xbox, too. Even though it's smaller than the PS5, I'm pretty sure. PS5, big as fuck, and it get hot as shit. Why? It does not have a dedicated graphics card. It has what's called onboard graphics, and onboard graphics are not good. Onboard graphics all of them. are you know, bare minimum. What? It's no levels to it. All of them bare minimum. Again, this dude, he's being so loud and wrong. What the hell? And it's, according to him, information he got from his fans. This is the same dude that has some fucking lame-ass fucking bullshit speech when he was trying to tell us that people sit in LTG chat and make him do stuff, say stuff, or whatever that he shouldn't do, but they pretend to be his fans. And basically, people lead him astray. Bro, people lead you astray. That's why you had this fucking rant. According to yourself, this fucking whole thing happened because of his viewers. He wasn't incorrect about anything. His viewers gave him bad information. And he spread the bad information to more of his viewers. And then one of his viewers said, but Phil, that's not true. And then he fucking turned it into this. It got turned into nonsense. All right. Probably with like right. no lighting. Probably with like low graphical setting. Probably no lighting. The game's going to be pitch black. You know, I you know, probably get it to boot it. And it would probably be delayed, by the way. Probably lag up, have frame drops. I hate when games are delayed. But I could play Elden Ring on it. Oh, by the way, after two hours, you have to buy it again, too. To be one of you. I am an expert on like you go near it. Right. 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 Ah, so one of you. I used to be one of you. I used to be one of you. I used to be one of one of you. Anyway. Anyway. You know. What's crazy? Whatever. Getting bad information and spreading it on purpose, like. and then your excuses that other people were wrong. Of arguing with. Wouldn't you be one of those other people too that can make other people wrong? This dude call people idiots every day. He call people idiots every day. When it comes to big mistakes, little mistakes, any kind of mistake. But he can be genuinely wrong. And his way of getting out of saying I was wrong is to say the person that called me wrong didn't like me anyway. That's basically the point here. Yeah, I was wrong, but I'm not going to say I was wrong because the person that said I was wrong didn't like me. Bruh. They did a better job than the people that liked you. Because the people that like them, let them continue to be a fucking idiot. We already talked about this, right? That right. we were going to uh, basically look into possibly upgrading. Or so much leaning. PC. We even What's he looking at? All the specs last year, we talked about it. It just didn't work out. Like, I totally wanted to do that. And it didn't happen because there was so much other shit going wrong. You didn't get enough money? You know, everything, every little thing keeps happening. Every time I think I have a little bit of money saved up, oh, here we yep. go. This, this money, 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 money. This is like, fuck. Big in. Snark. That's life, you know? That's life. You know? You deal with it. So, it's always I life, man. This year, upgraded my capture device, upgraded my light. No, oh. The this is so whack. Between the GPU and the CPU for encoding for uh, the on demand videos, but also the streams. So now everything's improved this year, right? Even though I'm still using. What is this dude at? Wait. <laughs> Sir, 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 sir. You hit us with a whirlwind. Processing load between the GPU, you know. This goes wrong. This is like, fuck. It's two things. But that's life, you know. That's life. Three things. One of them is that it's life. Deal with it. So, I made do this year. Upgraded my capture device. Upgraded his capture device. Upgraded his capture device. I mean, maybe, like, scientifically he did. But in reality, what happened was that his cat sat on his current, well, his old capture card, and it broke. It didn't work anymore. Like, it actually was broke. We had a whole stream where he was being weird and saying, oh, my God, you guys, I don't know what I'm going to do. Some dude 
sent him a capture card that's like fucking five years old at the minimum. So he got a hand-me-down used capture card to push his business. Like, that's lame as fuck and actual broke boy shit. Remember when DS not DSP, LTG called it the poverty stream? That's some poverty shit. You're streaming full time off a hand me down capture card and you just can't buy a new one? Why? You just bu- spent $300 on a fucking controller, basically. He spent $400, $500? Allegedly at once, but I think he got it on the payment plan. Bitch, get a capture card on the payment plan. You can definitely get a capture card on the payment plan. 100%. I don't know which one, but you can get some. But he's streaming off a hand-me-down capture card. And he's going to pretend like he didn't get a gift to him. He's going to pretend like he didn't get a new one because the old one broke. And he's going to just tell us with a straight face, I upgraded my stream and got a new capture card. And he ignore everything else. That's crazy. Upgraded my lighting. Up- so, I made do this year. Upgraded my capture device. <sighs> upgraded my lighting. Upgraded the lighting. The Dutch brothers sent him trash. And they're gone now because he made some weird joke about Jesus being a zombie and they didn't like it. So yeah, big ups to people that helped him upgrade his lighting. Uh, split the processing load between the GPU and the CPU for encoding for uh, the... He clicked the fucking button in OBS. A button that's been there for like five years. He finally decided to click it. He could have clicked that button five years ago. Just like he could have upgraded his capture card five years ago. The dude bought more cars in the last 10 years than he bought capture cards. Huh? He used more cars at least. On-demand videos, but also the streams. So now uh, Split the load. Right? Everything improved. The same equipment. I'm optimizing the use of the equipment I have and things are better. So I didn't have to go out and buy an expensive PC. I'm good, right? You know, it's piece by piece. Yeah, he's flexing about using Invenc. Or would it be Invenc? It's not French. I split the load. You click the fucking thing in fucking OBS. You could have been doing that. Oh man. Oh well. Again, what are you waiting for? We talked about last year because I, I keep saying three thousand dollars. If you remember last year, You're we had a list degenerate. of components. Okay, three thousand dollars. So now we can go back. Have a good reason to be hot. We're actually at the the toxic stream again. Maintain a positive atmosphere on my streams. I don't want people to think that I'm hostile to people for no good reason when. I very have, well have a good reason to be hostile to these people. They've already been banned multiple times. Ah. So basically, you know. See, to turn this it makes sense now. That's why he acted that way, because they've been banned multiple times. Phil doesn't care and he doesn't listen. He's also giving them special treatment. Like, it's negative special treatment, but still. But this is the white noise they try to create the drama around my streams. This dude been telling us for actually half a decade that he's going to ignore trolls. Not respond to them. Just ban them and get them out. And he still do this. I mean, it's okay. It can play some 3D stuff, but not at high settings. You go around low to mid settings. Like Skyrim didn't look great. Visage didn't look great. They certainly ran their play- random horror game in Skyrim. Like, well, Damn, bro, you know everything about the computer now. Games. It's probably gonna be what a joke. And stuff like that, which is exactly what I. You gonna try Fortnite or something? Do some actual benchmarking. My stream and declaring, oh, it has the capability to do actual dunks. Yeah, it has a fan and it has this. Before any of that, I. Said, Bitch, it do have a fan. You know. You know. Throw Very clear. Basic. That's what it's gonna be. And God, by the way, the man, imagine giving this dude Actually, something. I, was right all along. I feel bad for you, buddy. And then it turned into this. But that's the problem. Yikes. Idiots. Right? Idiots. I totally want to essentially be jerks and try to yes. destroy my content. But that was only one of the things that happened this week. Okay. Let's give Earlier him some worms. Week, we sat down on my podcast and we talked about Mortal Kombat One coming up and the future of fighting games on my streams, correct? And we're sitting there talking, and I'm like, listen, we found out Mortal Kombat 1 has a beta coming up, not this weekend, but next weekend. People want to see me play the beta. They've already expressed we want to see you play this beta. <clears throat> but then come to find out, the Mortal Kombat 1 beta is not cross-platform. In fact, Mortal Kombat 1 itself will not be cross-platform at launch. NetherRealm has said that they are- yeah, He's basically complaining about getting free stuff. Later he's on, very appreciative. Which means whatever format Obviously. or platform you buy Mortal Kombat 1 for, you're stuck with the player base on that format until they patch in cross-compatibility, which we don't know when that's going to be. They didn't promise anything yet. Okay? So, we already know statistically from Street Fighter 6, almost no one is buying fighting games on Xbox. Street Fighter 6 had like 80 to 85% of the console player base buy the game on PS5. 
and only 10 to 15 percent bought it on xbox so can you imagine if i uh maybe it got something to do with the fact that street fighter 5 was exclusive to the ps4 let's pretend people are being loyal to xbox and not buying a game on the xbox because fuck capcom something that dsp would basically say mk1 on xbox and i try to play it on there i'm gonna have like the same people playing me every time nice fucking set of stats by the way like fighter six almost no one in cross compatibility stats based off one game they didn't promise anything yet okay so we already know statistically from street fighter six almost no one is buying fighting games on xbox we know that because of one game 80 to 85 percent of the console Bro. player base buy the game on ps5 and only 10 to 15 percent bought it on xbox so whoa you imagine if i buy mk1 on xbox but that's a different on fucking on xbox, series same people playing me every time that's actually a different series and a different player base because i'm definitely not having anything to do with that game you don't want to fight anyway very boring playing a fighting game it's going to be boring anyway you want to be playing a variety of players a variety of comp a variety of characters and that wouldn't happen if i bought it on xbox so we had the discussion what do i do because if i buy it on ps5 that's yeah he said console players on PS5 is very the pc old. players are uh, separate I've been using ever since the beta of street fighter 5 came out they have the pc platform 100 percent of pc players bought it on the pc platform it's an old joystick it probably does have a significant amount of input lag it's not like a modern joystick where they've tried to design that out of the stick you know eight years what? ago it actually wasn't that big of a concern modern it came out so when you've used a joystick that long, the components are worn out. It's not going to be as responsive as I want it to. Plus, it's an old joystick. It probably does have a significant amount. Of probably. Probably. Input lag. It's not like a modern joystick where they've tried to design that out of the stick. We're going to pretend like a PlayStation 4 arcade stick wasn't designed to have low input lag? What? And that... A stick having low or high input lag, like the online community dictates that. What about people that play the game in, in general? What? Nah, he's trying to tell us that the wiring is like not as good in the old sticks. This is some nonsense, man. Conspiracy theory shit. What? Used the joystick that long the components are worn out it's not going to be as responsive as i want it to plus it's an old joystick it probably does have a significant amount of input lag it's not like a modern joystick where they've tried you can look this stuff up by the way you know, eight years ago actually wasn't that big of a concern yeah i don't know about input lag not being a concern eight years ago basically i presented <laughs> a, a situation to the to the audience on my podcast people always care about input lag I'm with controllers what the fuck are you talking about my fighting games over to ps5 what you know, we've now been playing street fighter 6 we're getting the information yeah. overload too look how much extra shit he's telling us about everything to ps5 is the better option that overall quality of life having fighting games on ps5 just makes more sense games like mortal kombat 1 tekken 8 and others in the future are likely going to have their major player bases on ps5 and this will future proof me i won't have to worry about oh no it's not cross-platform and now i'm stuck with a, a tiny player base <clears throat> in addition taking a look at availability of components and things it looked like ps5 had quite a lot of great joysticks made for it the tiny player base argument is going to be completely invalid if you're not playing this game five well when i say this game i mean mortal kombat 1 if you're not playing that five, six months after release. And, I mean, he won't. And if he do, it's going to be because a new DLC came out. Because that's the way he handled those games. He chased the dragon when it first come out. And then he play again when the DLC come out. And he lose to people using the main character. He call it laggy and he never play it again. And he wait for the next Mortal Kombat. So, the player base being big or small, honestly kind of irrelevant. He going to have enough people to play in these games when they were a week old. Or when DLC come out. Because it's going to be other people doing the same thing as him. Playing it because it's relevant. You know what I mean? That I could probably get a joystick that's top notch. Top of the line. And give me the absolute best. Probably. When I'm playing these games online. Which it seems like there's a desire for me to have. Since top notch, top of the line equals the most so money. The case to my audience. Because guess what? He basically got the most expensive like stick he could buy. Store. That's not a hitbox. Hey, if someone wants to contribute. He just kind of did. Please do. Or if you like this content, please continue to support all of my fighting game streams. The last thing I would want to do is invest a lot, and then all of a sudden the attention dwindles, and now I wasted all that money because I'm not playing fighting games anymore. Or I'm trying to play fighting games, but the streams aren't doing well, so oh my god. And yeah, he played the you know, I he played the previous Mortal Kombat games on controller. He played everything on controller except Street Fighter. So him doing all of this for a new stick is even more weird. It was obviously a fucking like actual grift. 
It just was. It was an actual grift. And this is my troll conspiracy theory. He was going to ask for money, which is, I mean, that's what he did. And he was going to milk and squeeze as much as he can get out of people. And he was going to get the stick no matter what, which is what he did. And he was going to put it on a payment plan, which is what he did. Now, he didn't tell us factually. Yes, I, P.P. Burnell, put it on a payment plan. But when he was playing Final Fantasy, he told us that he was going to, that he needed to pay it off. I think he said pay it off. I forget the exact wording again. But he used the wording you use when you have something on the payment plan. And it was mad weird. And it's the same dude. When he got his new TV, he put it on the payment plan. So that's what I think happened. It was a actual grift. Yeah, I'm going to try to get as much money as I get. If I get $500, it's cool. If I get $100, it's cool. If I get five extra dollars, it's cool. And I'm going to put it on a payment plan and buy it anyway. And he fucking did it. He did it because he's the GOAT. I invested hundreds and hundreds of dollars. He told us that he had to pay it off. And he said that shit with some confidence. And then he fucking ran it back. You know, it didn't go to a good reason. It didn't go to a good thing. I could have put it into something else, right? Right. So that's essentially what, I, what I've been saying. I never outright asked anyone to buy me anything to get me a joystick or anything like that. Never you're going to have to you're going to have to look pretty hard to find a dude playing Mortal Kombat on an arcade stick. I'm, I'm pretty, pretty sure of that. No matter what people say or misconstrue, I never outright said, hey, buy me a joystick, man. Never happened. Okay? He pretended so, that he wanted to play all of these games on a joy, uh, an arcade stick, joystick, whatever, not a controller, to just get money out of people. It was just to get money out of people. I have to rebuy Street Fighter 6 on PS5. I have to get PlayStation Plus, which is, you know, uh, I got the, the yearly annual uh, thing, so it's way cheaper if you get it annually. So way cheaper. In addition to that, um, I'm going to get... Mortal Kombat 1 on PS5 now, so that's coming up in the next you know week. I have to pre-order that. So all you know, I mean, all in all, when you add it up, it's over 500 bucks. It's over Good 500 dollars to do all this. Okay, so I said I'm just gonna do it. Let's do it. So I do it. All right, and immediately when I announce to everyone that I've done this, what happens? My viewers are like, oh cool. So now you're gonna we're gonna see everything on PS5. You're gonna have a new joystick. This is cool. But what do the, what do the haters do? Oh, oh my God, he spent money. How dare Phil spend money? I'm serious. Like they actually think I'm not allowed to spend any money. Why can't you focus on the positive input you got if it happened? Years and years ago. I said this. I said this years and years ago that one of the guy's problems is that if he get negative and positive feedback on the same thing, he focus very heavily on the negative feedback and not in a positive way. You could take negative feedback and go in a good direction with it. But he basically take the negative feedback and tell everybody that it's happening and that it's negative and then he yells at it. But then at the same time, he allegedly got all of these people that are so happy and they're so thankful and they're feeling so fucking robust and cool. And it's like, well, why are we not focusing on what they're saying? People were like, oh, good, Phil. You'll be able to play on the PS fucking 5 and you'll be able to get more competition. But then the haters were like, oh, my God. And then we talk about what the haters said for 30 minutes. But this coming from the dude that tell us all the time that he don't care what the haters say. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't think he know either. He just having fun. Spend money. How dare I'm Phil spend money? I'm not allowed to spend any money. Yes. Because in their mind, they're still set on me years and years ago, being in financial distress all the time, right? Remember years and years ago when I went through a bankruptcy? And I, I remember years and years ago when DSP told us that he wasn't broke. DSP's never, like, actually really told us that he was doing bad. And this is the thing. I got the, I got the fucking backup plan. If he did tell you he was doing bad, if other people told him he was doing bad, he responded by saying he not broke. This is basically a DSP like thing. He'll tell you, I'm doing bad. I'm in the red. I'm in the black. These are things that happen. I'm overdrafting. And people will come to a stream and say, Phil, you're financially destitute. You're doing bad. You're broke. And he will read that shit out loud and say, I'm not broke. He can't let other people tell him how he's doing. Obviously, it pisses him off. But he'll tell you he doing a certain way and then tell you that you're wrong if you tell him the same shit. I had to hold streams to pay bills. So him saying this is fucking irrelevant. Money. I'm serious. Like, they actually think I'm not allowed to spend any money. Because in their mind... Remember when I went through a bankruptcy? Yeah, I remember you went through a bankruptcy. You told us you wasn't broke. 
right? Remember, years and years ago when I went through a bankruptcy and I had to hold streams to pay bills. It's true. It absolutely happened. It's Documented. true. It's public. I did it. He was right. I had to do it at that time. I was desperate. If I didn't do those things, I wouldn't have been able to make ends meet and keep everything that I have. You know, I was in jeopardy of defaulting on payments on important things. Things aren't like that anymore, all right? And I'm happy that things aren't like that anymore. Things have been getting progressively better every year since then. The thing is, I'm not talking about it constantly, because why would I? This has nothing to do with anyone's public business. It's just my behind-the-scenes life, and my streams are what they are, and you support them, and that's that. No one should care about what I'm spending dollars on. It's ridiculous. Dollars. I love that word. It's Real asshole word. I've had enough of people trying to treat me unfairly when everyone else, it's okay, but for me... It's dollars like, like he's dollars. buying bubble like gum in the business it's not like oh phil frivolously went out and bought a investment in the business is fire because okay it's multiple things that i can tell you about like within five minutes that are wrong with dsp stream that could be fixed with a monetary investment all right two things coming from his capture card most of his street fighter matches if not all of them they start off with this weird delay frame fucked lagginess in it and it just smooths itself out dsp don't even notice because what he looking at obs all day he don't look at obs all day so we got this weird like frame fuck up that happened in the beginning of every street fighter match basically that could be fixed if he just had a new capture card or if he had a new pc or if he fucking tried to upgrade his ram or something if he even put new cooling gel on his cpu because facts is facts, B. DSP had his computer for, uh, what, eight years? I think eight years. And he never changed anything on it. He never even cleaned it out. And I could tell you that because if he did, he would have talked about it for 30 minutes. We never got a pre-stream about him cleaning his computer out or him changing the cooling element. It just didn't happen. That computer got dust in it from the first day he got it all the way up to now. 100%. 100%. So, whatever, we got the fucked up frame rate in all of his Street Fighter matches, basically. Then he got this really, really specific, like, white noise. I'm going to call it white noise that just exists. When he go to the bathroom and he leave his capture card hooked up to the stream, if you have an audio monitoring software, you could just see a line of nothing audio coming through. And if you click pause and unpause or play and unpause or whatever if you just do it over and over you'll hit his popping sound and that's his capture card it's literally coming from his capture card and it's a way to fix it but he don't know how to fix it so he either will have to spend money and buy a new one to fix it or figure out this weird specific fix that he don't know about because he don't even know the problem exists he don't even know that this is a problem and it's been a problem since the day he got a new capture card because guess what? It's a fucking hand-me-down capture card, and it's got some weird problem. But he upgraded his streams. What? Watch or anything. people try, but that's how these people are. Okay, and that's that. No one should care about. What Let me hear the word again. It's ridiculous. But that's how these people are. Okay. Something, something, it's business. Absolutely ridiculous. And I've had enough of people trying to treat me unfairly when everyone else, it's okay. It's Damn, I gotta go back more. Money. Money. How dare Phil spend money? I'm serious. Like they actually think I'm not allowed to spend any money. Because in their minds, they're still set on me years and years ago, being in financial distress all the time, right? Remember, years and years ago when I went through a... It's documented, it's public, I did keep everything that I have. You know, I was in jeopardy of default more. Things have been getting progressively better every year since then. The thing is, I'm not talking Never about... Never anymore, this. fuck that. Why would I? This is not for this part. Anyone's public business, it's just my behind-the-scenes life, and my streams are what they are, and you support them, and that's that. No one should care about what I'm spending dollars on. It's ridiculous. But that's how these people are, okay? Start. It's absolutely ridiculous. And I've had enough of people trying to treat me unfairly when everyone else, it's okay. But for me, it's not. I can't spend a dollar on anything, right? Even when it's investment in the business. It's Boom, not like that's it. Even when it's investment in the business. Well, why couldn't he invest $500 to make the stream better overall it's gotta be a capture card he can buy that'll work on windows 8.1 and it'll be better than the one he got he got a whole desktop computer clean that thing clean that thing out and find you an internal capture card find you a top of the line capture card from five years ago and buy a brand new actually test it actually look at your shit Look at the frame rate, slow it down, see if it's synced. If it ain't good enough, get a refund and keep doing it. And if you find one, if you can't find one that don't work, 
Well, fucking upgrade your computer to Windows 10. Get a new computer. I don't know. You spend $500 to play one fucking game, dude. And you're calling that an investment? Uh, hmm. Fair enough. Great investment. Phil frivolously went out and bought a fucking Gucci watch. Or, you know, and I would go on cornball mode. Gucci watch. For my content. But that's not good enough. He bought, not allowed. So he bought the uh, Gucci watch equivalent. Or would it be the arcade stick equivalent? Yeah, the arcade stick equivalent of a Gucci watch. He compared the fucking arcade stick he got to a Cadillac, by the way. So why do you need the Cadillac of arcade sticks? Riddle me that, Batman. The first thing is, oh, how dare oh, Phil well. Big up Sir Dorney. You hear it at the perfect time. For to pay I'm in the middle of listening happen. to the wildest DSP pre-stream. Right? And probably and forever. Dare, dare Phil spend that money if he said he didn't have it. Never happened. Didn't say I didn't have the money. Said it's a big investment and I'd like to make it back. I'd like the buy-in that people will support. I mean, obviously he heavily implied he didn't have the money. But do I need to explain that? Gucci horse saddle for cat. If you like Gucci horse horse saddle. saddle. Please support the streams. So, you know, today I'm doing Street Fighter 6 all day. By all means, please support the stream. T throw a tip. Donate some gifted memberships. That will help. Donate for all gifted memberships. Right. You understand? That's what I'm saying. Speaking of donate so gifted memberships, I would like some gifted subs right now. I'll make sure to donate them. Hey, never. Okay? Interesting word. You're a fucking degenerate. We, like, think about this fucking bullshit. You give this dude money and he tell you, you can't call it a donation. I can't call it a donation. It's against the law. I'm going to get fucking fined or some shit. Like, he wiles the fuck out. He gets so scared when people use the D word around him. So why the fuck are you saying donate memberships? Get that word out of here. I'm saying. Donate memberships. Throw a tip. Donate some gifted memberships. That huh? will to give back for... I don't think I ever heard him say donate gifted memberships. That was a fucking bug in his AI. If someone buy me a fucking joystick and ship it to my house, that never happened. All right? Never. All right. Okay? Okay. And a sip. Delicious. Smack, smack. Ah. So, that narrative is destroyed. Oh, yeah, you fucking got the trolls, man. What's the next narrative? Destroy narrative. Even though Phil invested in his business, that's bad. He should have bought a blood test for his cat because his cat is sick. Nope. Okay, somebody could have said that. But the point, the, the point behind this whole blood test shit is that you're supposed to care about your cat. And you factually took them to a vet. It's not like people just told him, why didn't you get a blood test for your cat out of the blue? He took the cat to a vet for a checkup that he was supposed to have anyway. And the people at the place recommended he get a blood test on the cat. He didn't get a blood test on the cat. We got a pre-stream where he actually complained about this and accused the people of scamming him and upselling him. Like he went to a dealership. It was weird. Nobody will tell you that it wasn't weird. It shouldn't have even happened. DSP should have just actually not talked about it. Actually. At all. And if he did, why he talked about it the way he talked about it? It just was nonsense. It's What's wrong again? Invested in his business. That's bad. He should have <sighs> bought a blood test for his cat because his cat is sick. So yeah, the point, the point, at least the point I try to make with this. He didn't want to spend $300 to see if his fucking cat might be sick or anything. But right after, he spends $500 to play a game he can already play. It's like, dude. 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 And he could have spent $500 on the capture card. That would have been uh, more robust. What? It's a lot of problems and issues with this whole situation. All right. It just That's is, man. I told a one-off story on my podcast that I went to a vet and this vet was very unprofessional and tried to scam me. I was never invited into- They doubled down on it. When my cat was being examined medically. Never invited kind of hit different because if you bother to go back and listen to him talking about it and it's DSP don't really lead us in a direction to listen to him talk about this. He's pretending like we all just know, but we kind of don't. I'm not going to go to his channel and check. But let's assume that it's no video on his channel named Vet Tried to Scam Me. Alert, alert. Like, I don't know how I'm really going to find the true and authentic video of DSP talking about this because I can't watch it on a troll channel. That's going to make it out of context. You know what I mean? 
podcast <laughs> that I went to a vet and this vet was very unprofessional and tried to scare I gotta hear this again. I was never invited into Okay, yeah, yeah. The never invited into the room part. If you go back and listen to the original telling of the story, he talks about it like he requested to come in the room with the cat and they told him no. And now they never invited him into the room. So now this is coming across like the BMW company didn't call me and tell me to get my oil changed. You know, was he just sitting down and they said, hey, we're here for Jasper. And he fucking gave him the cat and then sit back down. Or did he say, yeah, can I come in the room? And they said, no, I'm thinking it was the first one. And he told us some fucking bullshit. And now we're getting another like telling of the story. Every fucking story this dude ever tell. He have five different ways of telling them. Because this is coming across way different than the original telling the story. This one really specific part. It's so lame. They didn't invite me. I was never invited. Maybe you smell bad. When my cat was being examined medically, I was told a bunch of stuff about my cat that I had no clue if it was true or not. No evidence if it was ever shown. I was trying to be like shit. It's probably some people that don't want to go in a room. They might want to sit in the parking lot. I don't know. I wasted my time that day. Um, I mean, I told that if you want, you can watch the podcast like a month old now. Was and, the link? And essentially, I was he don't even lead us in the right direction. He no, he he don't want us to find it. Of course he don't, because it's gonna make him look bad. Anytime there's been follow up, I'm not gonna tell you because it's no one's business. No one's business though. Meeting with this vet, not the vet. But the original story was the original story or a business. I mean, it depend. Technically, in a bit, in a bit of a way, yeah, the dude did charge a thousand dollars. To tell people he had this cat and he got 2000 for it and he got emotes of the cat and he tell us actually days ahead of time when the cat's going to be available to come on stream. Think about this. It, it'll be Friday and he'll say, guys, Jasper can come in the office again on Monday. So is it our business or not? Owns that vet clinic. This is the same fucking bastard, though, that tell people in his chat that the chat isn't their business. And I know what he mean when you say that, but it's like they're literally there. It's kind of their business. What's happening in the place where they're existing? You know, like, come on, man. And we talked with the management about it. And come on, I know. Situation from start to finish. And the management agreed with us that this seemed like sure the did. entire thing was wrong, that the vet was not doing what they professionally should have done that it was completely unprofessional. Yes, they were trying to upsell us on a $300 blood test that is not needed on our- He's making up so much stuff yeah, right here, man. He make up shit when he talk about you were being anybody. Lies, Because we were told Jasper needed a $300 blood test in order to- Need it? If he has any kind of problems with his uh, urinary tract. No, he doesn't. We, we know this for a fact. I'm pretty certain urinary tract wasn't name dropped at all when he told the original vet story. Pretty fucking sure of that. Pretty sure of it. But what if he did bring up urinary tract? I feel like I remember something as specific as urinary tract. But this is shit that we hear when he tell a story a month later. We hear about urinary tract and we hear about him not being invited in the room. But the first time we didn't hear about urinary tract and we didn't hear the word invite. We just heard how he wasn't allowed in the room. Not being allowed somewhere is a lot different than not being invited somewhere. DSP's not invited to my house, but he might be allowed in. I don't know. Because <laughs> years ago, he went to a vet, like four, four or more years ago. He went to uh, a vet, and that vet did not do a blood test. And go back to Champions a DSP. Problem and gave him antibiotics. So we know he doesn't need it. And this, the, the, the management of this. We know this cat don't need a thing based on what happened four years ago. Based on what happened five years ago. Based on what happened 10... Like, come on, dude. DSP was a different person physically and mentally five years ago than he is now. And we're talking about a fucking cat. Cats are probably a little bit different than people. But if I talk about it too much, it's going to say that I tried to pretend like I was a vet. And I don't even have a cat. This vet clinic agreed with us that this vet was in the wrong. This was 100% this vet trying to outsell to make money. 
And they said, number one, DSP isn't poor. He told us in this video he's not poor. To, to have business what are you talking about? We'll never deal with that vet ever again. We're going to sit down with that vet and explain to them why that was completely in the wrong and make sure they don't. I completely understand what probably happened, Hitto. Right? And he's given us so much extra words. Of course, the customer is always right. Right? So he calls this place and he complains and they say, we're sorry, Mr. Burnell. It's never going to happen again. We're going to talk to the person that did this. We don't want them to do this. Uh, they, they're they going to just, uh, as he would say, they're going to blow smoke up his ass. What are they going to say? We stand behind our employees. You are factually incorrect, sir. They're not going to say he's fucking wrong. Get out of here. Get out of here. I'm going to tell oh, well. you guys that because who cares? It's none of your business. Who cares about that, right? It doesn't matter. But these idiots. Oh, shit. Am I still in the remnant 2 directory? No. These idiotic trolls on the internet. I meant to change it, man. They're vets. And they say, you see. I did nothing wrong. You, that you should have a $300 blood test for your pet. You should just do it. And the fact that you wouldn't <laughs> do that for Jasper, but you bought a joystick. Again, he compared his cat to his son. He said, Jasper is like my son. He don't even have a real son. But he said, Jasper is like my son. Uh, If you have $500 to spend on an arcade stick. And not get it on a payment plan because according to him, he didn't get it on a payment plan, even though he said he did. But anyway, uh, shouldn't you be okay with spending money to see if your son is okay? I'm just saying, bro. That's some real, uh, some real hood rich shit. With monster wheels. Yeah, I didn't get blood work done for my kid, but I got some 22s on my Corolla the next day. There's like actual uh, hood rich vibes coming from DSP. Instead, it's kind of fire. Shows that you don't love your Thanks pet. For following I'm not nine, shitting you. One, this three, is what these four, idiots five. are saying and doing. Shows the voice crack. No. Jasper, but you bought a joy pet. You should just do it. And the fact that you wouldn't do that for Jasper, but you bought a joystick instead, shows that you don't love your pet. I'm not shitting you. This is what these idiots are saying and doing. They're he did these things really close to each other, too. He did not think this through. He was so, so desperate to get a new arcade stick. To try to make me look bad. Poor guys. Content to put out. Oh. They've been trying all week long. With ver First, it was the mini PC bullshit. Then it was it was stick thing. Then it was a Jasper thing. It's insane. I had someone come. He got the order. Last night. Incorrect on purpose. Right? And contribute and say, I hope that this helps Jasper. And I said, what are you talking about? And come to find out, they actually had watched detractor content and thought that Jasper was sick. Because the detractors are lying and saying horrible things. This didn't happen, by it's the way. Like, what the fuck? Of course it didn't. So all I want to say to you What guys, the fuck? Thank you, because here's... Uh, let's go back again. Say... I hope that this helps Jasper. This week long, with ver first it was the mini PC bullshit, then it was this joystick thing, then it was a Jasper thing. It's insane. I had someone come to my stream last night. All right. All right. And contribute and say I hope. And contribute. It could have been a dollar, a thousand. And come to find out, they actually had watched detractor content and thought that Jasper was sick. First of all, you could think that he was sick from watching DSP's, like, just rough content. Uh, this is the wrong one anyway. Damn. I might have closed the tab for it. I have too many uh, very important tabs open on extremely important things. So, rip, we got to look for it. It shouldn't take too long. Because you can basically see when he typed this stupid donation on the screen. Just a reminder that this started off a 100 donation on my fuel. $100 donation triggered some of this. Loudest music in the background. Nothing you could do. Check my tips. Okay, hold on. I'll refresh. I'm being told to check my tips. I will. Let me refresh here. Whoa, okay. Hold on a second here, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, let's see here. I have received. I received apparently a $100 tip from someone who's saying they watched the Dark One Soul Days. 
and equip streaming, they've now pursued a military career. They actually reached Diamond with Jerk. The amount of stuff he ignored out of this message was kind of fire. Uh, watching you for a long time, Diamond with Jury in the military, ignored it all. Ignored it all and then misquoted the one part he brought up. And he said, please make, make, take care of Jasper. Please make sure, make, take, like who knows what he actually said because DSP is fucking up the words so much. Please make, take, make, take care. Man, it, who knows what the dude actually said. They could have said, fuck your grandma and DSP translated it to take care of Jasper. Actually, what, what the hell, man? The best shout outs on the internet. Hundred fucking dollars. Hundred fucking dollars. He misquotes your damn nail on purpose. To find out, they actually had watched detractor content. Yes. Thought that Jasper was sick. Yes. Because they did not Jasper say that though at all. Things. Unless he didn't read it. It's like, take care of him equals that I think they're sick. What the fuck? Uh, don't he take care of his family? Are they sick right now? Thank you because here's huh? the deal. Uh, uh whatever. Me, despite the fact that these <laughs> idiotic people. I'm constantly dude. trying to say negative things about me and my content. No. None of it has affected me or my content this week. The um, content's been good. The people are showing up to watch and enjoying. We're keeping the drama out of the chat. And the support uh, is good. You know, I have zero complaints. Everything has made... It was drama in the chat the day, the day before this no and this day. About anything. I want to say I thank you because you've been an outstanding oh, audience okay. this week. With all the white noise <laughs> bullshit that these idiots are pushing out there all the, the white noise you have i like how he complain about other people and their white noise bullshit but his stream has white noise bullshit because his capture card need to be fixed on a great act, act, act. oh just staying here and relaxing and enjoying the yeah, just relax is, all right in fact <clears throat> i received an email this morning and I, oh no I, is, it's an amazing coincidence because all this is going on the all fakest the email. I can't. It's no way he think these are real. I wanted to read it here live. There's no way. Today, and I'm not gonna read this person's name, obviously for privacy reasons. Man, that name is probably Jorgen McJorgensen. So, they probably, they probably named SpongeBob. This is actually the name SpongeBob. Was sent to me this morning. Word for word. Hello, Phil. I just want you to know, I originally found you through troll content. I still keep up with some of it here and there. From what I am seeing, you are becoming more and more admirable every day, so allow me to explain. Number one, the fact that they are constantly doing crazy amounts of mental gymnastics and logic jumps to spin new narratives is becoming increasingly laughable with every passing day. Number two, they're becoming more angry and jaded this is great music for this. continues to fail and negatively affect you or sway people away from supporting you. Number three, the content you put out is some of the most consistent and well thought out content I think I have ever consumed. I will say, I appreciate that comment. That's very subjective. Personally, I don't think that I'm hot shit. I don't. But it's nice to know someone likes the content. That's right. That's and number right. four, That's right. you clearly That's right. care about what your viewers right, think. Man. The trolls and That's LARPers, right. I don't know what he means by That's LARPers, right. That's right. think it's cool or funny Whoa. when they persuade or trick you into playing something that your general actual fans probably wouldn't care that much about. In reality, that shows that you're thinking about your. What would his actual fans care about? If his actual fans don't care about the health of his cat that he advertises? If his actual fans don't care about him upgrading his streams? What do they care about? Having fun? Because he's not having fun either. This isn't fun. I want to know what they care about. What do the actual DSP fans care about? It time war? Fans and viewers, to a greater extent, it was your consideration, or excuse me. And again, this this is coming from a dude who, according to the email, still keeps up with detractor stuff or whatever the fuck. So how are they speaking for actual fans if they're keeping up with DSP through videos that don't support DSP? The plot kind of fucked from the beginning. It just is. Nature that they're just taking advantage of. I'm loving the content. If you don't know what he's talking about, by the way. How? Machine. What content he like? Because he told us he watched the troll channels. So I'll do a poll. Huh? And the poll will be, hey. Uh, you know, what, what we don't need to explain that. I try to do a public poll. These idiots come and they try to skew the poll to the way that they think that it benefits. They hold. Like, all I can do is try to get public opinion. That's the best way to do it. Right? But what people say is whenever I try. To what people say is fire. Because DSP made. he DSP actually made that narrative. That people that don't like him flood the poll with votes that he don't want to happen. And then it happened more because of him complaining about it happening.
This has been ongoing for years. I remember when it first started. Because it used to basically charge people to give feedback when Patreon was first hot. And then when he kind of came back to YouTube, it was like, well, you can vote through these YouTube polls. Oh, yeah, Twitter, too. He used to do the Twitter polls. Every time he did a Twitter poll, he would come on stream the next day and say, well, we had this many votes for this. But if you really look at it, you can see that a bunch of votes came in all at one time. So, yeah, that was the troll votes. We won't count those. This happened every fucking time he did votes and polls. That's why he stopped doing them on Twitter because of the trolls. And now he tell us that other people told him that. His audience told him that his polls were being fucked with by trolls. He didn't tell us that. What are you talking about? Do a public poll, the public opinion, that's the Other people opinion, say that. Right? But what people say is whenever I try to do a public poll, these idiots come and they try to skew the poll to the uh, way they think that it benefits them. These the idiots too. People would actually like to see, right? Or a game that will only work for one stream and then will fail or something like that. I don't know. Again, Yeah, you don't know. I do a poll, it's because I actually don't know. It's a lot of different reasons why people will vote for you to play a game, man. Come on. Guys for your, your input, right? But he only thinking about money. Um, if you really pay attention to that, He's only thinking about money. Well, they say that you, a game that won't work. Fans, well, this is a, a game that won't get attention. Made a fan. Money. This message finds you. Money. Great. Yeah, yeah. So, thank you, very, very much. I appreciate. That's a really nice message, and Bruh. You know, it just kind of stands to reason. Come on, dude. That that's like a headmate sending you an email. You can't be for real. You stay the course. And you're gonna, you you're gonna lose your mind believing this shit, dude. By for real. White noise bullshit around you. You can uh, succeed in life, right? And that's my, that is really my philosophy these days. This week, people tried so hard, so hard, so to hard the content and to make it all about them and the drama they created. And it didn't work. People showed up, enjoyed the content. We didn't talk about their bullshit. And here we are at the end of the week. It's been a great week. Moving forward positively. I just have to point this out on record. Here we are at the end of the week. DSP says on. Tuesday, August the 8th, Tuesday. This is a person who says they're not self-centered, self -centered. they don't think the world revolve around them, but the end of the week is Tuesday because some random dude that decides cats work hours gave her Wednesday off. Make that make sense. What the flip? What the flippity floppity flute? Thank you. Good stuff. That's why I want to thank you. Thank you for a good week. Because those of you who stay away from their bullshit, for those of you who listen to their bullshit, and I feel bad because I don't create the bullshit. They do. You know, some people genuinely... Okay, to be fair, isn't DSP listening to it? I know what he mean when he say listen, right? When he say listen, he mean that you believe it and that you may even spread it. But that's not what listening is. Listening is just actually literally listening, which is what I'm doing. And it, technically, he listened to a lot of bullshit, too. Come on, man. This is Mr. Semantic. I got to fight fire with fire because DSP is Mr. fucking Semantic. Listen, first of all, I can't listen to people who are typing on the computer. Second of all, when you say listen, well, how am I going to actually listen when I am reading these emails on my phone? Like, he would legit say some shit like that. Contacting me Get out of here. Jasper, okay. Yeah, he's fine. He's not sick. Listen. There's nothing to be concerned Listen about. Listen to them heads, no fucking headmates, sending you emails. Create drama, and people sadly believe it. And I get it. You guys love Jasper as much as I do. He's a cute guy. It's not all business, by the way. Part of the content. He's a great part of my life. Like I said, He told us it's not all business, more or less, what happened to this cat. But then he tells us that we love him as much as he do. Now, why are you pushing that on to me? You want me to feel bad if something happened to him? I love your cat as much as you do? We do? Who? Who was we? You got a frog in your pocket? I, said, I, I, think, I think of him like a son. <laughs> I want him to be a healthy cat. Like a son. My life. Nah, I'm sorry, bro. If you saw this cat like your son, you would have at least not gotten a $500 fighting setup right after you told us you didn't want to spend $300 to get blood work done. That's just corny ass shit. It, it just is, man. It just is. It, that's the most hood rich shit DSP has ever done. To complain about not wanting to get something done at the equivalent of a hospital for his son. And then right after he spent $500 to play a game he already got. It's no other way to look at it. He bought 22s for his Corolla. 
right after little Billy didn't get the surgery. Because guess what? He didn't need the surgery. You're trying to scam me, Mr. Hospital, Mr. Veterinarian. They don't need that. You just want me to get it. <laughs> but I need them 22s. I want him to be a healthy, a healthy cat. And he is. Thank I need them 22s. Trust me, if there was something wrong with Jasper, we would... Maybe we can get 24s next time. Probably not that vet that just scammed us. <sighs> be at a vet or an emergency clinic or whatever it needed to be. In fact, we've done that before. One time we sat at an emergency clinic for five hours. I love this part. And I finally got the clip that I wanted. For the whoop. Give me a second. La, 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 la. Just give Jasper some pills and leave him on a curb door. La 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 I'm posting a link for myself in the chat. La 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 This is great loading music. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Dating or anything like that. Basically. So this is the same thing. It, it's just this. It's the same thing. Different situations. Same vibe. Damn the same face. Probably. Listen to your boy. We would be at a vet or an emergency clinic or whatever it needed to be. In fact, we've done that before. One time we sat at an emergency clinic for five hours. Any askers? Just saying. Did you, Did you know that? Know about it? No, because I don't want people to be concerned. But, you know, shit happens. He bring that shit up to just completely distract you from everything he said previous. He wants you to think about this part now. Damn, what was wrong with Jasper when he had to take an emergency vet trip four years ago? Huh? Basically, she was in a really talking... But yeah, it's the same vibe, though. A horrible woman abuser. My wife and I met online, casually talking for a few months before we ever started dating or anything like that. Basically, she was in a really bad place in her life, an abusive relationship. He took advantage of her. Relationship, and once she did, right in his hands. Talking a little bit more romantically, and then did you ever find specific the restraining order that she had against her ex because he was hitting her? Never. I feel awful that my wife. He's crying now. <laughs> He did the same thing, bro. It's the same fucking vibe. Uh, he's being called out. He's actually backed in the corner. He don't know what to do. This is his way out. Drop an information bomb. An information bomb. Did you know that, Jasper, I actually had an emergency vet trip years ago? I didn't talk about it, though. Did you know that my wife, uh, she was getting hit by the guy she was with before me? You didn't know about that, I bet, right? You fucking stupid trolls. By the way, it's none of your business. And you shouldn't even know about this, but did you know? Did you know about it? I didn't no, know. I don't want people to be concerned. I don't want you to be concerned. No, so I told you about this years after to deflect from what I'm doing in the, in the now. Shit happens. You just have to buy a $500 arcade stick. Well, a $300 arcade stick. A sixty dollar game, thirty dollar season pass? Question mark. Plus, however much PS Plus costs for a year. Sometimes you just have to do that. Shit happen. You know what I mean? If I see someone who's trolling, if I see someone who I know is a sock account, if I see someone who I know is trying to derail in a toxic way, I'm gonna moderate and I'm not gonna say anything. He already told us this before. He's been telling us this for half a decade. Fuck you, motherfucker, in the chat and ban them. I'm just gonna say, ban and buy, and I'm not gonna say a word. Okay? That way, it doesn't derail the content. Because I think what happens is when I do that, then, oh, that's the rise that people are looking for. Oh, I got the reaction. So I'm not going to give them yeah, that's all their work. satisfaction. I'm going to see it. Okay, bye. Bloop. Done. And I continue on. And we don't pay any attention to the nonsense. And I'm going to say this. I've said it before. I'll say it again. If you see me moderating, don't ask why someone was moderating. Because number one, it's actually none of your business. It's not your business. It's mine. And number two, you're giving attention to the trolls by doing that. That's exactly what they want. They want a discussion over it. Okay? So please, attention to the nonsense. <laughs> and I'm going to say this. I've said it before. I'll say it again. If you see... This is another part that I like to point out when I hear moderating, it. Moderating. Don't ask why someone was moderating. Because number one, it's actually none of your business. It's not your business. It's mine. It's not your business what happens in the chat that you're in. It's not Carl Johnson's business. 
if someone right above him is posting someone's address or it's saying some weird shit or if he think they're a bad person, it's not his business. Like what? Huh? It's your business to know what's going on around you, dude. It just is. And number two, you're giving attention to the trolls by doing that. But I get the point he's trying to make. But I definitely don't agree with him fully. Fuck that. It's not your business. Get out of here, man. Please understand. There's a reason why. Is it DSP's business what go on in the neighborhood he live in? Yeah, because he lived there, right? Obviously. All the time. Same logic. Wow, Phil. You know I'm a newcomer to your content. I can't believe you have 24-hour sub mode on your chat. Do you understand how deterrent that is to newcomers? They say it all of that. I completely agree with you. But you don't know what yeah, they worded it that way too, right? We weren't here for that first month when I came to YouTube two and a half years ago, and how the trolls came in here with bot accounts and were ridiculous. I love bot accounts with toxic stuff. So we got the sub only mode, and the moment we did, it put an end to all of it. it Not true. To have to wait 24 hours and then be able to talk in a nice environment, then to have to sit here in a toxic environment where 90% of the people talking are bot idiots spamming gross stuff. Yeah, he's still where they M Bison head. And that's fine. You don't have to get it. I've been doing this now for two. Only if you get enough money. I know how it don't happen that often. I, I kind of know what I'm doing. Sorry that things get derailed. Sorry that idiots try to create white noise narratives outside the streams. If you just stay here with me and you chill with me and we have a good time together. Cold moment. YouTube, I know how it rolls. So understand, I, I kind of know what I'm doing. Sorry that things get derailed. Sorry that idiots try to create white noise narratives outside the streams. If you just stay here with me and you chill with me. If you stay here with me and you chill with me. That's how we got, cat. Just don't stream, don't go on Twitter, don't use any social media. Just stay here with me and chill with me. I'll pay all the bills, I'll buy all the food, and you can play Overwatch all day. And they won't ruin it. He told Cat that too. He specifically told Cat that they won't ruin Overwatch. He lied. With me, and we have a good Cat, honey, don't listen to the white noise. Just listen to me and be here with me. DSP, you can't do that to your viewers, too. They, they're on the internet. They can open a different tab. Like, how much you really want people to do? Are people allowed to watch other streams? Not really, huh? If they watch one that's talking about him, they're not allowed to watch it. Just stay here with me. Time together. It was outside the stream. And I bet you, if you made him try to double down on this, he'll go in a complete opposite direction. He would act like he never said something is weird. If you just stay here with me, and you chill with me, we have a good time together none of that shit matters nothing else matter just stay here with me around on youtube periphery clickbait views and be don't watch anyone clickbait views don't watch them don't watch mr beast they say sue those people to stop them oh yes that's what i'm who can i not watch people that make fun of you or everybody that clickbait slap lawsuits around on every idiot i don't know i need uh no some extrapolation make good content for my viewers that's all i care about like what okay. now there's 10 years of him saying the n-word and calling people slurs so in random fucking mario videos and shit actual lame content you know phil you know phil all the people on the internet who he's the guy why don't you give it back to them oh here we go in particular there's one person who just got big derail who wants massive derail to basically make fun of review tech usa who is someone who always is on my case always watches my content to make fun of me right we know he's one of the worst people when it comes to let's make fun of Phil and benefit on his misery. We know this, correct? So they said, why don't you give it back to him? Are you aware that recently he's been in hot water? Aren't you aware that he's in the same situations that you've been Get in the past, the but ring, he didn't man. learn from Get your mistakes? Ring, he's making the Get same the mistakes ring, you man. did, Get and people are ring, actually man. saying that he's like you from the past and insulting him in this manner, and he's having breakdowns over it. Why don't you react to that? Here's a, someone actually said, here's a montage. Here's a 25-minute a, a montage explaining this whole situation of how he overpromised and underdelivered, and his fans called him out on it. And instead of actually responding in a level-headed way, he basically exploded on the fans and insulted them and called them virgins and losers and all of this, right? Why aren't you doing a live react to that right now? Why don't you give it back to Rick? Why are you reaching into the camera like that? I'll tell you why I don't give it back to Rick. Because I don't care. Because I don't want to sit on the internet and be someone who attacks someone else. He don't care, but he basically broke down all the drama in the most loose fucking way to make the dude look as bad as possible and to give you as little information as possible. To make you either think to yourself, okay, it's confirmed, he's a piece of shit, or to make you look for it, which is going to make you find uh, a negative one-sided video, as DSP would say. Else, ...who benefits off of their own misery, I want nothing to do with it. That's yeah, this is massive deflection. Just like like him bringing up going to the vet for an emergency trip years ago. 
tearing down. It's fucking lame, man. Else. Right? No. What about the wings stream? Why would I? Do oh, he didn't tear him down. He watched a documentary on him. Full content. Cringe. Okay. Nah, he don't make meaningful and content. I'm sorry. I hope that you guys understand that. Every once in a while, someone brings something up <clears throat> as, as a silly thing. Yeah, I'll take a little joke. I'll make a little joke about Rich sucking a cucumber or whatever, right? He don't make jokes about that. He's trying to be mean about it. Someone's misery. Because to some people on YouTube, when someone else is having a bad day, that means it's their payday. It's uh -oh. a good day for them when someone else is miserable. Not me. For me, I wish that everyone would always have a good day. I mean, yeah, he called the LTG his bitch last day. week. He forgot he did that. Have a miserable day, a drama filled day. He don't want to talk about him anymore now. He want to shut down the conversation after he had his way and got his last word. Then no one would want to tear me down anyway because they'd be happy with their lives too, correct? Nah. If you were the happiest person in the world, you would immediately notice DSP was a piece of shit. And if you were unhappy, you would immediately notice DSP is a piece of shit. And like, damn, in any context you can put him in. Bruh, you can even make him just play his favorite fighting game, Street Fighter, on stream. His favorite thing to do. Don't he love streaming and he love creating content? You watch him play the game, he's calling people bitches and pussies. He, he not blowing bubbles, even though he want to blow bubbles for 100 likes. Like, come on, dude. It's not, it's not a positive environment like he's pretending that it is. He's just the guy that's on stream. But he's not... He's, he's no Nick A30. Yeah, I stuck it to LTG. Why did I do that? Now we got the LTG part. That's not me. And I don't want to be like that. I don't ever want to be like that. All right? He's trying to steal LTG's personality a little bit. Why did I he just kind of is. He's acting a combined version of Toxic. Insulted. From... It's like acting like old DSP combined with new DSP combined with LTG. He insulted But with less slurs. Off for 10 minutes, completely unsolicited. He had no idea what I had said about him because I had actually said positive things about the guy and had one or two genuine questions about things about his streams. He didn't look at what I said and instead yeah, genuine he questions. Said toxic shit and he sat there for 10 minutes trying to destroy me on his stream. I have every fucking right to clap back at that, which I did. And I even laid down a nice challenge that would have benefited both of us. And he pussied out like everyone knew he would. And now that opportunity has gone. And that's that. I'm done talking about LTG. I'm not going to keep harping on the guy. I don't care about the guy. He's a nobody. He's a fucking insignificant fart in the wind when it comes to content creation. Why do I fucking care about LTG? In fact, I'm going to say it right now, outright. Stop bringing him up in my chats. Stop talking about the guy. He's never going to entertain anything. Look how we try to end a discussion. After he had his word, he had his last words, he had his way with him. And now we're bringing up shit from 2014 that he told us that nobody care about. But now we care about it because we don't like LTG. Bruh. It's a complete waste of everyone's time bringing this guy. It's the reason why, like, actually no one should help DSP. No one should do anything with DSP. I'm sorry, dude. This dude's, like, so specifically fucking awful and toxic and lame. But before LTG shit on him, and truly let it be known that he wasn't going to do anything with him. He was so in love with him. He was fascinated by his streams. And he just was like, oh, my God, I watched this guy. I watched him for like an hour. And he's got like so many views and so many subs. And as soon as he stopped liking LTG, he fucking flipped it all. He flipped it all. Oh, you're making money, but I'm making more than you. I'm making more money than LTG. Uh, you, uh, you supposedly have all those subs. I forget how he worded it, but he worded it a really weird way. I had enough of people bringing it up. Like he think LTG paying for subs or something. Why would DSP assume something like that? So I'm done talking about him. He's just asking okay. questions. I'm not, I don't care about him. Stop bringing him up. Yeah. He has some fake questions about his stream and he kind of concerned trolled a little bit too, in my opinion. It's done. All right. Concern troll and LTG. Yeah, he did concern troll him. I'm going to find that clip one day when he was talking about LTG's viewers, like misleading him, basically. I, I don't care. I have nothing to do with any of this. I'm here to make my content, my positive content. That's it. You understand? So people are constantly trying to pull me into their shit, right? Well, if we can't make Phil have drama here, let's have Phil create drama there. No, there's no drama. No, really. Why are you talking about yourself in a third person? I want nothing to do with any of you. <laughs> any of you who want drama, I want nothing to do with you. I'm done with that nonsense. I don't want to hear about anyone. Oh, what about this person talking about you? What about this person? What about that? What about... I don't care. Let them all sit there and jerk each other off until eternity. 
right? Let them have the biggest drama orgasm all over the internet as much as they want. And yeah, I'm having one right now. If you want to watch their content, if you so believe it's entertaining, go for it. Melt your brain away and become a zombie watching crap. I don't care. I'm here to be Okay, was it intelligent content when DSP was playing Final Fantasy 16, not even a week ago? And he was leaning into the mic and saying, or whatever the fuck. I'm not going to look the clip up because it'll be too hard to find. But the people watching the stream that have been watching the few, last few hours or was watching that day, you know what I'm talking about. Like, what was that? That was him having fun, right? That was him having fun. He wasn't trying to make meaningful content for that one little three minute gap. He was just having fun. Positive. I'm here. Yeah. Right. Oh, this another meaningful moment. I'm pretty sure that singing part was Final Fantasy 16 too. Him like blatantly trying to be obnoxious and derail from the game that's apparently uninteresting to the point where you have to go out of all way to distract people from it. At the end of the day, when you take a look at the sense, body of work that it. someone's put out on YouTube, okay? Well, big up You're going to look underscore, underscore at all the content I have. Uh, perfect time. And I, wow, Phil's put out so many playthroughs. Phil's done a body of work with podcasts. He's done game reviews. Oh, yeah, look at this did. fun. You know, we got a new wheel spin. All this. And you can go back and watch it. It's all work. meaningful content. I keep forgetting or to disable you can go thing. watch someone who's drama, some drama guy making fun of people all day. How is that pertinent? And the question is, it's not. It's only pertinent in the moment. The wheel Once is that becomes old news, spinning. none of it matters anymore. You know, a few months ago, the hottest thing to do is make fun of DK stream. oldies, or the Take hottest thing to do is to make fun of this particular person on here. But that all, it's all waning. Uh, anything. Passes. None of it's not pertinent any. anymore. But so something. get that immediate attention for the drama, it goes away. My content is universal. You can watch a playthrough I did in 2010. You can watch a play This is such a good part such a good part you can watch a playthrough i did in 2010 my content's universal bruh if you pull up just about any playthrough from over seven years ago over six years ago he's just randomly saying the n-word or the f-slur or he's being randomly transphobic or he's being some type of a fucking phobic about something or he's making nazi jokes how is that universal? How is that content that would stand the test of time? Bruh. Bruh. I said this earlier, but this dude, a lot of his old shit is basically comparable to like a banned episode of fucking Bugs Bunny or something. Like it wouldn't play on TV. They might not even sell it on a DVD. You got to go on the fucking dark web to get that shit. Oh, yeah, this is that one episode of DSP when he made the Nazi joke, but they don't play that one on a network. They don't put that one on a DVD. Half of his fucking shit is that. Even when you watch some of his best, most landmark playthroughs, like Heavy Rain, we just got him saying the N-word randomly in that playthrough. Like, come on, nothing. None of his old shit's safe. That's why we have so much fucking replays of old games. But then he pretend like the old shit's good. Well, why you keep fucking replaying shit? He replaying GTA 5 right now to make a snowflake playthrough where he act personally offended about people getting shot in a fucking video game. Why are we replaying games to change the narrative of what people thought of the playthrough? It's kind of strange. I thought the original playthrough was good. I thought we loved it. So why are we fucking actually burying it, basically? We're erasing the past by reimagining the present. Or well, some fucking weird bullshit. I don't know. He's like a, a bad game dev. He's he's not delisting the old game, but he's trying to make you forget about the old version of the game. He don't really want you to buy it. If you look up the game, you're going to find a new version. It's like if you look up Resident Evil on Steam or some shit. Can you get Resident Evil 1, the original one on Steam? Oh, no. Why not? They don't want you to have it, but you can get the remake. DSP's like, you can watch the, you can watch the replay. You can watch when I played GTA 5 in 2023. Don't watch my old playthrough. I wasn't interactive. I was drunk. I was rushing through the game. You don't want to watch that. Well, fucking delete it if it's so bad. I, but he, at the same time, he got universal content. But he shits on it. He shits on his own shit. He actually shits on his own fucking content. All the time. But right now, because he's trying to make a narrative, 
his old shit's good. If it was good, he wouldn't replay every fucking game. He just wouldn't. He would play new games. He would be playing games that he wanted to play the last 10 years instead of replaying games he played in the last 10 years. Who is drama, some drama guy making fun of people all day. How is that pertinent? And the question is, it's not. It's only pertinent in the moment. Once that becomes old news, none of it matters anymore. You know, a few months ago, the hottest thing to do is make fun of DK oldies, or the hottest thing to do is to make fun of this particular person on the internet. But that all, it's all waning. It passes. None of it's pertinent anymore. So once you get that He genuinely regrets half the, the shit he put out. Goes away. My content is Bruh. universal. You send him, you send him his own footage to watch on a react stream and he skips through it. It's so many clips from so many playthroughs you send him and he's like, oh, this cringe. I wouldn't do this now. This cringe. Send him the, the Clementine scene from The Walking Dead season two. No way he'll support that fucking piece of garbage bullshit video. What would he say? No, I wouldn't do that nowadays. When are you going to replay The Walking Dead to get the N words and fucking random ass transphobic jokes out of the playthrough? Because there's probably some random ones in there. Lee is an African-American style person. Maybe he just randomly yells the N-word in that playthrough and talk about Booker T. I don't fucking know. I did in 2010. This dude was in a loose yesterday. cannon. You can watch a review I did five years ago. You can watch a stream I did 10 years ago. You actually can, by the way. It's all still fun. Like, you still laugh. You can only watch a stream DSP did 10 years ago if you watch a person that made fun of it 10 years ago. And the oldest DSP restream is from like 2014 uh, because that's when I started doing it. You still have a good time. You're not saying, what the fuck okay, is okay. that that he's talking about? I don't understand the reference. Yeah, because it was drama content. DSP, show me a 10 year old uh, stream I can watch. But Pull up the link. Playthrough, you will. That shit don't exist. You see the difference? Meaningful versus bullshit. So my meaningful. stuff will stand the test of time. People will be watching my content for years to come. Like what? If I Heavy rain? disappeared from the planet today. You'd still have meaningful dark side filled content to watch. Dark Souls right? two demo. One of these drama. Uh, Dead Space today, two demo. Nothing would change. Dark Souls the one rage quit. Exactly the same. You know, no one would miss it because all they're doing is making content for the day, and none of it. And you would never watch their body of work. Who the fuck would want to watch a drama video from one of these guys from ten years ago? No one People cares about that shit. People do it all the time, by the way. First of all, uh, okay. <laughs> It's a lot of channels that are just gone, so you kind of can't do that anyway. But my channel not gone, my old channel not gone. People still go back and watch the stupid take a sip shit when it first happened. Like, this is a valid response. People go back and watch and when forget. DSP got made fun even of. Even though I'm a small time, time even though I'm 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 a, I'm a little a little out. you know, little guy. I'm a little grateful guy. that you guys keep me pertinent. You guys the allow guy. me to do what I love for a living. And you ignore the drama. Hey, the cat bullshit. back. Thank you for that. This week could have been a really stupid week of everyone constantly derailing, and instead it was a great DSP week. DSP is Tuesday. You're saying this. I was so pleased with how this week went. It's really, Tuesday. It could have went way worse, and it was so nice, and I was very happy with how this week went. Oh man, look at Fucking this uh, this cat on his deathbed sitting on my my uh, lap right now. Oh my goodness, he's <laughs> he's so bad off, guys. Let's rush him right now for a blood test. Oh man, we gotta get him out the door right now. Wow. My really cat's walking and is and alive, so he's not sick. <laughs> DSP logic. DSP logic. Unbelievable. DSP logic at work. Anyway. <laughs> he's alive, so he's not sick. So, he's walking. Thank you he's not puking up blood. I, I wanted to open the he's show not with sick. that today because I felt like that was very pertinent to do. Good job, because man. Because now that we've dispelled it, we can move on from the nonsense, okay? And we don't have to talk Good about job. it. Good job. All right? And understand, that's why I don't talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, I don't bother with this bullshit. I don't. Why would I bother with bullshit? There's no reason to bother with bullshit. We have important things to do. We're backlogged on things to do, right? I fucked up. Is that we so, have to do? We're backlogged on things to do. He started talking 40 minutes into what I'm watching. It's an hour and 20 minutes in. And he basically was drama mode whole time. We're backed up on things to do, man. That's why we're doing a podcast about drama and a podcast about old gaming news that's negative, and a podcast about the food we ate on our off day, and a podcast about how we didn't want to get scammed at the vet because we're backed up on games. And that's why we don't stream extra, because we're backed up on games. He's he's a fucking monster, Ew, man. Shall we? That's why he's the Jasper, guy. you're a nut. He's purring on my lap now. He's, he really loves this rubbing I'm giving him. <laughs> Jasper, Jasper Kitty, you're Let's so the, fucking cool. Purr to the mic. 
trying to make him purr into the mic. Can you guys hear it? Should have made him get a blood test. All right, buddy. All right, buddy. Let us now get to the pertinent stuff, shall we? Now that we've money. gotten the baloney out. The pertinent stuff was right. money. So, so here's what I will say, okay? It's if time. you like the content I put out, please support it. Turn if the you like the up. fact you gotta get that the I'm now dabbling in a mini PC for more variety of content, please support those streams, okay? If you like the fact that I'm upgrading my setup to play fighting games at a better capacity, that I'm going to be playing Mortal Kombat 1 against a bigger player base now, and I vested in a better joystick. If you like all that, because you oh, like shit. the kind of... My mic fucked it. up. Today, I'm doing I'm stream fighters. Support the stream. Please do. Help me oh, I gotta to pay to off it. what I just, you know, pay... Well, not pay off, because I did pay it, but help me to essentially earn back what I <laughs> now, and I vested in a better joystick. If you like all that, because you like the kind of... Please support it. Today, I'm doing Street Fighter. Support the stream. Please do. Help me to pay off what I just, you know, pay... Well, not pay off, because I did all that because you like the kind of please support it today i'm doing street fighter support the stream please do help me to pay off what i just you know pay well not pay off because i did pay it but help me to essentially earn back what i just paid for all this equipment okay that's all i'm saying support the content that you like and don't support it if you don't like it if you don't like fighting games then ignore it and that's fine if you like something else i'm doing come and support that all right but that's all i'm saying absolutely no one is sitting here demanding anything you know who's demanding stuff my haters because they're the ones who want to say that i'm saying and doing stuff that i'm not doing to, to create a narrative that doesn't exist you know there's no panic mode right now if you haven't noticed i haven't done a crazy emergency marathon in what three four years this is all nonsense don't believe the nonsense and i, I feel bad when people are contacting me saying i'm so i'm so afraid for your cat i'm like what are you talking about this happened with several people overnight i'm like this is nonsense. It's such a ridiculous nonsense. These people are spreading. People are believing it. And it's really messed up. So don't listen to it. Okay? All right. Now, it's time to get to business. All right? So what are we doing today? Today, it's all about Street Fighter Six. Although this wasn't my intention. Because Capcom decided to do last minute maintenance on Street Fighter Six last night. All my Street Fighter Six content had to be pushed to today. Okay? So what are we doing today? First of all. PlayStation 5, Street Fighter 6, for the first time ever. You have never seen me play it on PS5 before. You're not going to see much difference. It looks exactly the same, okay? But I'll be playing it on the platform where more people are playing it. And this is the first day I will be using my new Kanba Q7 Obsidian 2 joystick. My mic. I unboxed it yesterday. Here it I'm is. I'm to fix it I'll later. I'm using it for the first time. Now, I will openly admit I played a few casual play matches, all right, to test it. What I discovered is... The buttons seem really good. I like the buttons. However, the joystick uh, is definitely a few definitely casual matches. The joystick that was yeah. on my previous Xbox joystick. We're gonna go all the way back. I was trying to reset my mic. It did not work out. But a few casual matches is thirty plus thirty matches, and I'm saying thirty. I'm rounding down thirty matches off stream, offline. DSP playing a game off stream, offline. Mr. Super Busy, Mr. My Family, Mr. Relaxing with Cat and Jasper. Yeah. Yeah, he was wilding the fuck out. He's addicted to Street Fighter fucking six. That I'm going to be playing Mortal Kombat 1 against a bigger player base now. Oh yeah, let's go back. All right. If you like the content I put out, please support it. If you like the fact that I'm now dabbling in a mini PC for more variety of content, please support those streams. Okay, if you like the fact that I'm upgrading my setup to play fighting games at a better capacity, that I'm going to be playing Mortal Kombat 1 against a bigger... Upgrade your capture now, card, man. And I vested in a better joystick. If you like all that, because you like the kind of... Please support he's it. Saying Today, I like he's I'm doing Street Fighter. Offline. Support the stream. Do I have to go back Please more? Do. Help me to pay off. Okay, he even t posed during it. So that's emphasis. He meant that shit. The slipper. He meant that shit. We t posing during it. Off. What I just, you know, in a city that I'm going to be playing Mortal Kombat 1 against a bigger player base now. And I vested in a better joystick. If you like all that, because you like the kind of, please support it. Today, I'm doing Street Fighter. Support the stream. Please do. Help me to pay off what I just, you know. It, look how long it took. Look how long it took. Pay, well, not pay because I did pay it but I did pay, pay it yeah you paid pay 20 dollars you got to pay 20 a month pay, well not pay off because I did pay it nah. essentially earn about got that shit on the payment plan for all this equipment 
Okay. This is part of the grift. This is the strangest grift from DSP, like man. But since Project Seven, like and he didn't make any fucking money off it. Ignore it, and that's fine. He just made himself look really, really bad. All right. Like genuinely bad in like five Absolutely different fucking ways. Sitting here, demanding poor guy. Anything. You know, poor what kid. Demanding stuff. My haters. Because they're the ones who want to say that I'm saying and doing stuff that I'm not doing to, to create a narrative that doesn't exist. You know, How is that a demand? In panic mode right now. If you haven't noticed, huh? I haven't done a crazy emergency marathon <laughs> in what, three, four years? I like when he no say nonsense. this. Don't believe the nonsense. And It's I no panic bad. mode. It's no panic mode, again, because he hasn't done a crazy marathon stream in three years. You like that streaming for a long time is basically only for the sake of making money if you're down bad, not for fun. In his world, it never will be for fun to do anything for a long period of time when it comes to content creation. It says something, doesn't it? I thought he fucking loved streaming, but he only willing to stream for a long time if he can't fucking pay his bills and he might die or some shit. Like if he get fucking uh, goat cancer, if he get goat cancer, then we're going to get a 40 hour stream. And then he's going to say, oh my God, you guys, thank you for the money I can pay for goat cancer now people are contacting me saying i'm so that's so funny and robust yeah. like, it's almost like he like us this happened with several people overnight i'm like this is nonsense it's such ridiculous nonsense these people are spreading people are believing it and it's really messed up so, so don't listen up. to it okay all right now it's time to clap what we want business all right business is shout outs today? by the way today oh no schedule fighter six although this wasn't my intention because capcom decided i might be oh, done Community lobby night means it's an open But not really. Before. I'm pretty sure it was something RPG stupid that happened. Again. Seriously. So this game's so good, y'all. Your favorite. So please consider gifting memberships to the Nice. Channel. If you're someone who had a membership and it expired, consider renewing it. He always so wants more. Yeah, a lot of cool benefits. Hey, my mic worked yeah. different, but That's not really. He always wants more. It, it's consistent income every He's month. the guy. That helps out. And, you know, to see a dip, yeah, it sucks, but it happens. You get This is what happens. <laughs> it's like this. And by the way, I fully Categories. believe that once the fall gaming season yeah, hits and we get a bunch of new games out, people will come, be coming back to the channel for stuff like that. You'll see it go up. I thought people came back for Street Fighter. Back. It's not a huge deal. People all coming right. back all year, apparently. But please consider it. And uh, as we see actually the same people every day really and it never that. changes. And when a new person do show up, Fair guess enough. what? They're a fucking right, sock account in their band. To shout out. Let's start like, on the side of things today. Oh well. We start off this today with Movie Maniac, who did a super chat and says, "Who the hell do you think you're talking to, Phil? I am talking to my viewers." Damn, he got that. I'm talking to. Thank you. For an this hour story. ago Adam, in this video. This chat this morning. Thank you, Dad. For a stream. Jeff Olivar. Honor. I wish that were the birthday. <clears throat> haven't said a word about anything. The scenes content. The saying, super lane. Oh, no, he's fine. There's private messages. I wish it were the case that there's only a narrative I mentioned it, but that's not the case. That's I wish a good that quote, too. Case. I'm serious. I wish it were the case that there's only a narrative I mentioned it. I, Connor, I wish that were the case. I'm serious. I wish. I wish it were the case that there's only a narrative I mentioned it, but that's not the case. When I <clears throat> haven't said a word about anything, and I've got people coming to me through private messages. We did it yesterday, Paulie, mate. You should have been around Bill, then. is Jasper okay? We heard the worst. And I'm like... What are you talking about? <laughs> no, he's fine. There's that. It's not my, the problem. Is it's not my narrative. It's a narrative that's created outside. We got to get this content. video over with. So I have to dispel. The if you don't remember what happened yesterday, then you should take more naps. We'll actually get concerned. You understand? I'm gonna restart the stream and call you out like DSP did. That the whole thing. But I have to go back a hundred days to do that. People are actually saying harmful things like that. That could hurt people. So I want people to know that that's not true. All right. <clears throat> Mr. Game Master, the Super Chat, his thoughts on the Red Dead thing that everyone hates. I already talked about it yesterday. Absolutely. I have a goal. I want for the end of today, the whole streaming day, so this first stream and the night stream community night, I have a goal to hit 500 members. I know we can do that today with the amount of viewers we're going to have. He didn't hit 500. Like fighting games. If you Maybe about a night he did. Yeah, he did. But he wanted to hit it during the day stream. He was asking for a lot, obviously. 475 out of 500? We can absolutely do it. I, I have no Bro, qualms about it. It's kind it. of a lot. I know we can hit this by the end of today. So please consider it and please support. Let's get that going. Let's get the community going. Let's Yo. Like, awesome. Let's get the community going. Okay. Let's now, get the community let us get going. To tips. Uh, he would totally consider this taking advantage of people. 
if one of those streamers he didn't like or one of those lady streamers said this, he would completely call it out and act like it's so fucking detestful and awful. Oh my God, they're using this word. They're using this terminology to get money. 10 memberships. Let's see who gets them. Yeah. Eddie Chill. No sleep real vibes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eliza Pancake. Please be... Pray your hands. Two digits receive a gifted membership. Be very important thing to do in life. Um, very important uh, thing to do in life is to be appreciative. Are you fucking for real? Be sure to thank the person who gifted it to you. Please be appreciative and grateful. It's a very important thing to do in life. Um, Bruh. just saying thanks is easy to do and it makes someone feel good. He just got a um, mini PC gifted to him, and, and uh, all of his talking points was that it wasn't yeah, that uh, good. So I have my Chun Li shirt on today. I purposefully huh? wear it. It's actually good to have better. Um, talking about our clothes. The super chatter. Suck. He told Thomas, Thomas to suck it. Yes. Thank Wait, you. what? He says, now I am the latest super chatter. Suck it, Thomas. So there you go. Thank you to Steven for a $5 super chat. He's told How was that okay? Stop, but, uh, all right, there you go. I don't understand what's okay well, in his you, fucking stream. Thank you for the YouTube side support, everyone. I really appreciate that. Like, we're joking around, but people joke around a lot, and so he get mad at them. Day and we can also tell less super chatters to suck it. Tip from game. Uh... I received a dollar tip from Slayer. Oh yeah, I gotta point this out too because it's basically one. over with. Okay, let's see. Twenty nine ninety nine tip from Game Trekker. These dudes are in a different yeah, universe. DSP talked about his tip. cat and, and all of this drama, but he get money from Game Trekker and Slayer, two yeah. pretty big fucking community members at DSP stream. Yeah. And in the clouds, so, they're talking about different shit. They're talking about Street Fighter in Singapore. And I'm like, do y'all care about his cat being alive? Compared to your first run, I guess not. DSP was right when he said his community don't care. Honda, I was just using on Friday. They just care about fucking weird bullshit that only got to do with them. Like Game Trekker and DSP, Street Fighter is their thing. He fucking give them money every day to talk about Street Fighter. He don't even play it. And Singapore guy, his thing is Singapore. This is thing. I thought you were putting Slayer on stream and trolling. Took me 20 minutes to realize those were worms. Oh my god. Yeah, it do kind of look like his tail in some in some angles. I know what you're talking about. But big ups for the 250 no 285 bits. And uh all of the fucking dingus is bouncing off the wall. Yeah, the one all the way where my mouse cursor at. This one right here. It kind of looked like a tail. They got the stripes. Similar. Um it was actually fun. They actually were doing some weird dude, there was a skydiving segment. One of the skydivers busted his ass or United States Independence Day. They, uh, this is what Slayer wants to talk about. Your Patreon private These people don't even fucking pay attention to the stream. And he's going to send some responses to some of the questions I had during that private react. Cool. He's talking about a different stream. For the dollar tip. A completely so different like, stream. The Singaporean Independence Day is incredibly We're talking about the Singaporean like Independence like Day, bro. Okay. What? $4.20 tip uh, from Obama. Who says, what is your favorite R. Kelly song? Another person not talking about this stream. First of all, I haven't heard an R. Kelly song since like the early 2000s. All right. We all know that R. Kelly is now in jail for heinous actions. All right. But in the 90s, his biggest, so, okay, thousands, essentially the sexually, um, the ignition, he kind of like, did it, I hate him, drip, 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 gonna pee on you. <laughs> so funny, yes, man. I remember that shit. I so love funny. Show. Back in the day, it, Chappelle's show was so good. I don't have any questions. I'm not going to ask so questions. Anyway, it was I'm just let this play. It was Dave Chappelle who exposed R. Kelly at first for all the horrible things he was doing. Dave Chappelle exposed R. Kelly at first. He's the one who broke the story. I said I wasn't gonna say anything. This dude fucking lost their life. And then it just got worse and worse. Over yeah, sure. What? So it's okay, I'm, I'm fucking proud of him. I'm glad he did that. Damn. To R. Kelly. Big ups. R. Kelly over the years, the cracks cracked further to, until there was finally evidence of all these misdeeds, and now he's in jail for it. It's pretty nuts to think about that, right? So nuts, man. Anyway, so... Dave Chappelle, yeah, uh, uh, fed. In the 90s, it was... Whatever. I believe I Can Fly, whatever. or that one, The World's Greatest, or whatever it was. I don't know what, uh, what the actual name of that song is. But those were his two hottest songs, and then it was The Ignition. Never received a $2 tip. That's how you did not. That tip I sent was trying to clear things up. Listen, here's the, here's the big difference, Okay. Someone's like, hey, Phil, I just want you to know, actually, the PC you got is better than you think. So here's the deal. You are not one of the people. Why didn't he respond the to that then? Here. He only responded to the to troll idiots. Again. They're trying to get a gotcha moment. You're trying to be nice and be like, I just want you to let you know you got something better than you think on your hands there. They're coming in here. Ha ha. Phil's saying something. We must immediately disprove it. We must immediately make him look like an asshole. And that yeah. person spammed my chat nonstop. 
until I finally addressed it. And then the next day, spam my chat. I'm not kidding. For 45 straight minutes. He said it was an hour at first, by the way. My attention when they very well so know, yeah, do Q always worthwhile to listen to this dude to tell podcast. a story. On purpose, they did it. An hour turning to 45 and minutes. They're a troll. There was no good intentions or will there. They were an hour turning to 45 minutes and they didn't let me in the room turns into I wasn't invited in the room. Yeah. DSP's uh so meaningful to listen to. Scumbag. He's not a, he's not just a dishonest person and or extremely forgetful. Right. You're different, Lady Charisma. You're being nice. You were actually just trying to tell me uh, something new about that that I didn't know or that I was misinformed. I appreciate that. Do you understand the difference that you're here you're fine? You know what I mean? Well, that person is banned forever, but don't worry because they're probably already back with another sock account because that's how they are. He wants the chat to be paranoid? Like, nobody's going to talk to new people that show up to okay. your chat if you tell them that they might be a sock account of All someone right. you've banned every day. No, that's a shout out so far. You're literally so, never going to get a fucking community that way. You want to talk about anything? What are you guys up to? What the hell, man? You want to do a little Q&A? Use your brains. We'll have to do like a, a short break for... Uh, restroom break before we jump into the game and like i said i'll do one or two casual matches with blanca just to try to get used to the joystick and then we'll go to rank okay we're done now for real it's super good i'm saying Cringe. tito man says i watch you play chrono trigger made me want to get it i'm having fun it's so good what the what the heck what the just just no A successful scam complete. We've deflected, derailed, confused anybody that care. If they care too much, they're already banned. I've done it again. Yes. That's why he's the guy. And he give you the double thumbs up. It's super good. Chrono and then he checked the data. Tito Man says, I watch you play Chrono Trigger, <laughs> made me want to get it. I'm having fun. It's so good. It's. I shouldn't have speeded up. Tito Man says, I watch you play Chrono Trigger, man, you want to get it, I'm having fun, it's so good. What a monster. What an absolute monster. And then he checks. Why you gotta check this? The camera's in the same spot every day for years. Yeah. You shouldn't have to check for real. What you checking for? You're in the frame, obviously. Super good. Super good. Chrono Trigger, I swear to God, to this day is one of Damn, the Damn, you swearing to God on that? As long as you're okay. Interesting thing to swear to God on. And you're okay. I swear to God is one of the best games of all time. It's uh, seriously, it's an amazing huh. story. Is that why you don't know anything about Chrono Cross? And the combat is fun and interesting. It's always getting better. It's such a good game. It's like if he didn't know about Street Fighter 3, but Street Fighter 2 Super Turbo PS1 Edition is his like favorite thing of all time. He's had a long time to learn about Chrono Cross. I don't care how bad anybody else think it is. Let him figure it out. And all of them learn different what the flip attacks and combinations. I don't think you really like this game as much you're as you say. Learning something new or interesting that you didn't know before, and it's a really great game because yeah, by far. calm down. Honda, Lily. Chrono Trigger is actually like Super Honda Turbo now. Every time you play, you learn a new combo. For the first time, I'm not kidding you. I played for about 20 minutes. I played seven Kens in a row. Saw him, and now that we know that he's so insanely overpowered, I really. Oh, he mean online on stream. I shit you not. Yesterday. When I played some casual matches with this joystick for the first time, I'm not yeah, okay. everyone. Talk Where about them 30 know? matches you had offline. Off stream matches. Are we done for real? You going to the bathroom? Really nice. Will, sometimes it'll be. I've, I, I know. Street Fighter. Blanca was very. Sound good? Watching the show. I hope you enjoyed it. How was my day off? Holy crap. Even I'm about. I'll probably be talking about my full day. What a fucking monster of a situation joystick. type deal. It's over with. Fresh new week. I never have we to watch this pre-stream again. Gameplay every one of those days as well. <sighs> no, no days without gameplay. That's good. So thank you for watching. Thanks for enjoying. <laughs> have a good Wednesday. See you guys Thursday for the next podcast. Peace out. Big ups. Right, Call and so, keep up the good stuff. work.